regardless, it was releasing in 1995, so get your face ready. It's the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Of course, I will maintain, I will admit the Game Boy and Game Boy Color aren't separate systems and the color was just a mere refresh of the Game Boy when I'm dead and buried. Still not buried. I just really needed to talk to somebody with a PhD. I don't have a PhD. They forgot the U. You have FUD? I have FUD. Hello, I come from a time in which the term Hey All Scott here is banned. Cloud gaming has taken over. Millions are better off because of it. Companies are less wasteful with their products. But I want a box with Mario on it, damn it. So we have to stop this! Modern gaming. Something stinks! All right, I think it's time. You guys ready to go to this funeral? What? If you were making a game for the PlayStation 2, GameCube, or Xbox, you knew what dimension to make it. It added to the amount of simple fun you could have with the Nintendo DSi without even plugging in a game, mainly because the software library was cut in half. What do you call this? It was the only cake I had. The Game Boy Advance slot was removed to maintain portability. Sure. I want to lose weight. I cut off my arm. Hey all, Scott here. Everybody, please welcome my new assistant. I can see why everybody said this game was bad. The other physical release Nintendo had this month was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. What do you think I think? I'm a simple man, if I see a Pokemon, I'm going to squint. Hey all, Scott here, it's 40 odd 90, and kids these days have it so easy, they only have to walk 20 miles in the snow to go to school. Oh yeah, well I had to battle leprosy. My favorite food is no indoor plumbing. It's pretty tough living in this time period, so hopefully in the future they'll have bathrooms and flying cars and Mario power tennis with motion controls. Two out of three. One of my favorite pastimes as a kid was to go to the dollar store. I live in Ohio, your hobby's either that or getting shot. I ordered it on Amazon and they sent me a European copy. Do I look French? No, fuck you, I'm Polish. Hey y'all, Scott here. Put on your 3D glasses right now because I'm about to be as realistic as ever. I'm never gonna be truly happy. The Super Nintendo has one of the greatest lineups of 2D platformers, but that won't stop me from considering Family Feud to be one of my favorite games on the system. What makes the soap moist? Name something kids use. Tonsils. Name something parents save from a first baby to use for a second. Boo! Name something that's often located in the basement of the house. The basement. Name something people start but never finish. Me. War? Books of Faith. Hey y'all, Scott here. I finally found a use for that 24 hours of spare time I just had. It's all been building up to this. I'm gonna be God, the first 24 year old one to be exact. I woke up yesterday and realized God can't die. And I've never died before. So my first order of business is to bring inanimate objects to life. I decided to buy anything labeled as a toy at Spencer's Gifts, not showing those. I'm gonna give them mortality because damn it, if you were God, you would too. The hell do I do now? Nintendo DS had a lot of potential for add-ons. You can't look at this hole and not fill it. Look, oh my god, you could add anything here. Footrest. Okay, so we race and shoot at Greasy Steve. You know, Steve, you put yourself into these situations. Okay, why do you have to race? You have guns, you have knives. You can kill Jake Conway right there, but instead you decide it's more effective to kill a team member because they were about to tell Jake Conway why they were gonna kill him rather than just killing Jake Conway right there. So, no, I'm sorry, I can't get behind Greasy Steve. Hey y'all, Scott here. I just got bread for a dollar. That's one of my biggest fears was talking to somebody they really liked them. Turned out they weren't a person. They were just an affordable price. I despise deals. Somebody offered me a TV for $20. I tucked them up to 40. So it's a good thing deals can't find me here. That's why I boarded the doors. It's their Achilles heel. I've known this for a while. That's why I keep nailed wood around my neck. With all those deals out there, I guess I just have to wait out the storm with games like Sportsman's Pack. Two great games. There's been a breach! Hey y'all, Scott here. Let's rank our cousins. Well, Betty stinks. That's great, that man was born to be a cousin. Gary, not worth the hype. Jeremiah, the definitive cousin experience. See, I am completely unbiased when it comes to critiques. If I can hit my cousin Betty, surely you can take my opinion on the virtual boy to heart. Oh my god! Other than Spyro, these are all basically original creations, and some of these guys just look gross to me. Not in terms of being badly designed, and more so, I wouldn't want to be eating while looking at them. They all look like they belong on a pack of Mucinex. And I don't get some of these names, they're not even names! One of them's named Lightning Rod. His parents were 
dicks. Then you have Wham Shell, Trigger Happy, Stump Smash. What the hell kind of a name is Slam Bam? My f***ing name's Jeb Jab. It released on October 18th and featured something new, something revolutionary, something we all can't live without. Lock on technology. Come on, picture my life without this thing. Yes, it was the answer to my conception. I mean, I find these types of games to be a little too simple and slow paced for my liking, so you're gonna need a gimmick to make it work. And Toys for Bob found it, being wasteful. You know, I'll be honest, I have been slacking off with wasting money lately. I don't think I'm in my prime. I need mentors to teach me how to be wasteful and appreciate a game that wastes so much plastic and money. I was once a chaperone for school dances, but then I realized I was contributing to society. Hi, my name's Jeb Jeb, and this right here is a piece of shit. Don't you want to be like me, doing absolutely nothing in life, so there's more or less pressure to perform? Rex Moe's here and I do. We're the Waste Chasers. You're helping us by helping you be more wasteful. From this job, I bought 30 acres of farmland. What are you gonna do with it? We'll waste anything. Your time, energy, people. But according to our lawyers, we can't advertise murder on TV, so I'm obligated to say that we're kidding. Call us now to schedule your appointment. Confirm it by wasting money. Sonic the Hedgehog 4 was set to be this grand revival of classic Sonic. I mean, come on, it's in the title. Well, when you put it like that. But right at the end of March, a rumor that loads of Mario remasters and a new Paper Mario were coming. The rumor initially stated how pretty much Mario's entire back catalog of games were coming. His entire back catalog. In reality, this just meant most of the 3D games were getting remasters, and that got my mind racing. Could this mean that Mario 64 will get a fully orchestrated soundtrack, and Mario Odyssey level visuals, and Sunshine gets reworked, and they fix up all of its little issues, and Galaxy and Galaxy 2 get retooled to be perfectly playable with just button controls, but also feature motion as an option as well? And maybe Mario 3D Land gets prettied up and has changes to accommodate the lack of 3D, and 64DS gets full analog control for the first time! It was a fun five months before none of that happened. A new Paper Mario, though, Apparently, it was going back to the series RPG roots. Yeah, and I'm not sitting. In what world does the amount of blood on a blade affect its stabbing ability? Try again! Donkey Kong Land. It's Donkey Kong Country on the go. You know, I just discovered I could take a shit on the go. All I have to do is shit my pants. And man, I played it so much, and I agree. It stunk. It was a horrible gaming experience and waste of my time that I'll never get back. And this entire time, I realized I wasn't even playing the game. I was just holding a beehive. Yeah. You know what? I can afford the star. I'm not gonna buy it. I don't need it. I have a mother who loves me. Damn it! Look at this! Donkey Kong's gonna steal a star! But that's a sin! Hey, at least we know he's going to hell. No! I know how you feel. I too was f***ed by an ape. If you play as a different character, you get different scenarios in the same environments we've already played in, but I'll give them that. Variety is the spice of life, and so are ass cracks, so this game has it all. For $100, you get an RC Mario Kart with your choice of Mario or Luigi. You connect it to your Switch, and now your living room is a Mario Kart track. But when will it learn to love? But one game decided to do something innovative. Be the biggest example of false advertising of all time. Yeah, I'm not really saying anything that hasn't already been said here. Smallpox. They fucking stink. If I had to guess, I assume Nintendo already figured this brand had somewhat negative effects on sales. Like I said, this doesn't look very appealing and the name doesn't make me go, here, a fighter from arms. Okay, we'll find out who it is in June. Oh, I'll be damned. You saved us all from immediate disappointment. Super Punch-Out's weird. Like, the NES game is the most famous. It's one of my favorites on that console, but who the hell talks about the Super Nintendo one? Nothing wrong with it, it's just the controls and sound effects don't feel as good as the original on NES. To anybody who disagrees, I'll see you in court. Crucifixion's a bit harsh. Donkey Kong Country 3, the one I just can't own. I've never legally owned this game. If you don't believe me, look through my tax records. I'm seeing no donkey. This slot, on top of giving us the ability to play Game Boy Advance games, completely revolutionized handheld peripherals. You couldn't do this kind of stuff on the PSP, like the memory expansion pack. F*** you, Sony. But man, I just really want to play Four Swords Adventures, and I don't have a GameCube right now, so maybe just this once. I also killed a man. You know what I really need to do is buy a $500 console alongside a two grand TV set, buy a $60 controller to play this free game for $60. Oh, f***ing brilliant! Error. Take it, you son of a bitch. You rotten son of a bitch! That isn't an insult directed towards me, per se. Why well, don't we get to drown him via quick time events, too? 
take your time. You get up to certain parts where you need a specific Skylander of a specific type. None other can unlock the gate. Oh, well, that's a smart business move and a little bit of a, well, I don't know, discrimination. First up, Dollar General. You may know them as one of the most popular low-end variety stores in the country. I know them as a place where they display condoms in a Ninja Turtles underwear box. So you have the first three games on PlayStation, then Crash 4 on PlayStation 2, The Wrath of Cortex. It wasn't numbered Crash 4 here, though it was in Japan. Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, disregards all games following the third on PlayStation. It's like the Halloween movies. You have the first one, then a sequel to it, then a third that has absolutely no connections. The fourth is a sequel to the second, then the seventh that regards everything after the second one with a sequel to it, then the ninth one is a reboot with its own sequel followed up by the 11th one which is a sequel to the first movie disregarding even the second one which got its own sequels it's just like Crash Bandicoot. Have you ever heard that? A game that called itself the fourth entry to later on have another game consider itself to be the fourth entry? <sighs> Who the hell cares? Double Dragon 4! Crisis was revealed for the Switch. You know, this was the premier PC game back in 2007. If your computer could run this thing, you were tough shit. My Nintendo Switch can barely run a WWE game, but now Crisis is coming to it. Let's revolt. <laughs> I don't need a lawyer! F Halloween! It's my favorite time of year! Wednesday? No, 8 p.m. Uh, thanks for decorating with me. You never hear of a therapist that's willing to help their patient. As long as we're still on the clock, I don't mind. Well, hey, since you're already here, guess who is your secret Santa? Oh, I hate riddles. Please guess I put money on your answer. Well, if I guess right, it wouldn't be a secret! Please, it was me. Well, I don't know any me's. I know a you! Well, he was your secret Santa. It, I don't need my toes anyway. Oh, how did my secret say no? no? Well, when you asked for water when you came in, I knew it would be perfect. I love it. What else happened? Uh, oh, Nintendo Network IDs were compromised. Some hackers got a hold of them, but not all Nintendo Switch users have Nintendo Network IDs. If you created a Nintendo Network ID on Wii U and then used that to log into your Nintendo Switch, then you should be worried. The unit's powered through the controller too, which is weird. You can't turn this thing on without the controller, even the power button's on it. You can use an AC adapter or six AA batteries because Nintendo kept claiming the Virtual Boy was a portable device. So was a house. With six AA's, the Virtual Boy lasts roughly four hours, which is pretty bad by 1995 Nintendo standards. Many attribute the excellent battery life of the Game Boy to its success, but it could have been more successful if it caused seizures. Nintendo had to cover their ass with this thing, putting as many warnings as possible here. Basically, if you if you had troubles with nausea, motion sickness, epilepsy, I'm pretty sure your doctor already gave you a list of don't even think about it. Me personally, the Virtual Boy doesn't give me a seizure, it just makes me sad. So what is it like playing one of these? Well, line your eyes up with the two eyepieces and BAM! Sweetest day is a celebration of having a second day to rub into the face of virginity. Think of it as an Ohioan variation of Valentine's Day. But in October, if you already thought October was scary, try mating. Apparently it's only observed in the Great Lakes region. Well, here I am in Lake Erie. I count, bitch. Xenias gave you long lasting experiences each on their own cartridges, some of which were high score based games straight out of the arcade, but many were taking gaming to the next level. Rich stories, new worlds you want to explore, definitive endings, just like a divorce. Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics is phenomenal. If you're not in the 30 hours plus club, get the f out of my face. Most flagship gaming franchises are during this time felt the need to transition to 3D, and 2D was seen as old news. The only person that would care about them would be Lincoln, and... He's dead! It's obvious Clubhouse was meant to satiate the desire for the Wii series to come back, but I don't think Nintendo really wanted to do that and would rather push a franchise that doesn't have a dead console's name in its title. They would rather not do that, doesn't mean they won't. Hey all Scott here, I finally found my fourth calling in life, a match made in heaven. I finally opened up my own tattoo parlor. Welcome to the scab lab. You ever think to yourself, man, f skin. Well, this is the place for all you tattoo chow hounds such as myself. And if you're lucky, you get your picture in the no infections club. We give out free samples and if you don't like it, I am so sorry for what I just did. Of course, to prove how much I believe in our product, I will give myself a sleeve. I'm thinking blue today. The business and I weren't a good fit. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I did it. The Bayer Digit Blood Glucose Meter plugs into the GBA slot 
Naturally, it is a glucose meter after all. Now I couldn't get diabetes in time to discuss how this actually works, but I don't really need to. It reads your blood sugar levels and is designed to give kids with diabetes more incentive to read them more often. So alongside this device, you get a diabetes turn-based RPG, not come down's world fair. You get power-ups in the game for checking your blood sugar levels. The GBA slot deserves an award. There's so much it can do. Help with diabetes, put the DS on a fridge, with Tony Hawk? The Kingdom Hearts series finally got announced for Switch via a rhythm game. I'm so annoyed I can't be confused on the go. The new Smash Brothers character from ARMS was revealed to be Min Min, a good choice. She seemed to be the best candidate as Springman was already an assist trophy. I don't care that people say, there are no rules that say assist trophies can't get in. I'm pretty set in my way saying assist trophies can't become characters in the same game. Just wait until Senate passes the bill. Family Feud decades? Name one of baseball's great all time sluggers. Only baseball team I know, Harlem Globetrotters. Is your answer there? Uh, Name a song made famous by Elvis Presley. Uh, eek, it's Elvis. Uh, Name a game that all the kids in the neighborhood can play together. Polyamory? Uh, Unfortunately, the Nintendo DSi shop closed on March 31st, 2017. Oh? However, most of the DSiWare games released are available on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. Uh. Just looking up DSiWare? Well, there they all are. Well, let's take a look at a good chunk of the releases, starting with a launch title for the DSi shop. WarioWare SNAPPED! He just f***ing LOST IT! Now this game is sort of the punching bag in Nintendo's early titles, generally considered one of their worst. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I wouldn't willingly play it, but I'd so rather endure this than most of the NES black box sports titles. Everybody gets Pac-Man too, because, um, well, human rights. Oh, for the love of God, I was supposed to get robbed tomorrow! <gasps> Well, my evening opened up. What am I gonna do now? I can't go, hey all, Scott here. I don't own Lasagna World Tour. False alarm. I lost everything. Well, except what the robber decided to leave. I wonder why. Only two whole months after reveal, Paper Mario the Origami King released to reception. The general consensus on this one is that it was okay. Not perfect, but definitely a step in the right direction compared to the last two games. Interesting way to say it ruined my lunch. And one of my favorite things about these multi-packs is seeing what kind of menu system they put in place to select the games. Fuck me. I have never found a mate that can do this. You can't even play multiplayer. Not only is it not an option, there was never a Virtual Boy Link cable released. They went to all that trouble of making this port. They can't let it go to waste. I keep all my spices here. Weirdly enough, various marketing materials and commercials for Mario's Tennis claim it does have a multiplayer mode, but I refuse to look any further. I don't have anywhere else for my spices. There was this rumor going around that the Spanish dub of Breath of the Wild 2 was complete, which implied the game was close to releasing. Yeah, and I'm still not sitting. Nintendo loves re-releases. They would release Jesus Christ if they could. But see, you couldn't just re-release all of your GameCube games on the Wii because we could already play GameCube discs. If you were gonna re-release a game, you had to re-release it for a good reason. And out of lust doesn't count. Nintendo's solution? The new play control line. Nintendo, that's your solution to everything. That's fair. It's a smart business practice. Might not be the most ethical in the world, but hey, I fall for it every time and I know exactly what they're doing, which doesn't mean I fall for it. Just means I'm a bitch. Pretty much with all these, I see no point to them. I feel like they raise more questions than answers. Especially the mini Xbox One download code boxes. Little key ring sized plastic boxes containing nothing but a download code and will eventually be the main source of ocean pollution. They are the cutest possible way to kill a seal. Glover! Can you believe I have a room for a game I never played? What do you mean, yes? Yoshi's Story is this bizarre take on a Yoshi's Island successor. It's still pretty good, but it's so similar yet so different from any other Yoshi game. You gotta eat fruit. You don't just get to the end of the level, just do what my dietitian said and eat 30 fruit. So we gotta just find 30 pieces of fruit and then we move on to the next level. It's kind of an interesting direction. Hopefully the next Yoshi game does something just as unique. The same thing, are good. Jesus, you know, this brand new system is getting delayed left and right. These other guys are making us look weak in comparison with their shiny new consoles. We gotta just throw something at the wall, see what sticks. Well, that doesn't. Now, these are just patronizing commercials that have no idea who the audience for Nintendo Directs and Treehouse streams are. Mies. I just don't get it. Like, why is it here? Why has this border always been a part of my life? Why can't I escape it? Why doesn't anybody else see it? Maybe you need to relax. How about a nice pillow to the face? That's killing me. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe a gun to your head will take your mind off things. They're the exact same games, but the Japanese version has far more cartoony character designs. I'm sure they wanted this to be a more mature, traditional baseball game here in the West, appealing to the everyman. I'm no p See, I want a realistic baseball game for my one video game console, The Virtual Boy. And where's this game?
gonna stand for that? We have a chance for revenge. It's a one versus three minigame. Oh my god, we're on his side! I don't wanna be in the history books! Alright, look away. We just have to look in the opposite direction of Luigi. Use my shower. Yeah, it turns out two thirds of this room are fucking morons. Finish! <laughs> yeah, so which one of us are part of the two? But you aren't doing anybody a service by leaking when a Nintendo Direct is coming. All you do is set expectations too high and then yell at people for having expectations so high. Well, then don't leak Nintendo Direct info. Wow, you get all this fame from telling people what you heard other people tell you. That must feel so gratifying. Now wait right here as I research the history of Wii U rumors and leaks. In the early days of the Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo announced a new line of titles, dubbed the 3D Classics series. Retro games remastered with 3D in mind, released exclusively on the Nintendo 3DS eShop throughout 2011 and 2012 for roughly five to seven bones of pop. <laughs> Such a cool idea. Imagine the possibilities. This line can truly go on forever. They can include some of the greatest games of all time. I f***ing love this company. We've all seen those fast food comparison shots. This is what's advertised, and this is what I got. What the hell? Listen, I never even heard of this game prior to launch. I have no expectations going into this, which means I should play through it all. I am the prime specimen to do such a thing. Go ahead, test me. You can't win them all, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna do it. I still haven't been Ocarina of Time, so you know what that means. I'm gonna beat Right to Hell Retribution. Some developers are shown in a video talking about the GameCube, namely Silicon Knights, Rare, and Retro Studios, all showing off games that were barely real. Retro Head Raven Blade! Yeah, sure, honey, I'm on the phone. And honest to God, what's better to fiddle in your pocket with than Ice Climber? Nintendo always goes all out for Mario's anniversaries. Remember the 30th anniversary when they shoehorned in Mario Maker as the 30th anniversary celebration and admitted it wasn't really supposed to be, it just kind of all lined up? And the 25th anniversary when they sold us an SNES game on a Wii disc for $30? Nintendo hates Mario, and to a greater extent, us. It's like this label. What's there to question? What is this, moonshine or porn? Super Mario 3D All-Stars, one of the quickest reveals to release I've seen for a physical release. I assume Nintendo wanted to go wild with a 35th anniversary of something like E3, but, you know, athlete's foot. And the games they make can be masterclasses of design. They appeal to damn near everybody, and most will forever hold the test of time. They also made this f***ing thing. This is the Nintendo Virtual Boy, one of their biggest mistakes outside of not naming it Stinky Stinky Mr. F***. See, Nintendo has this lineage of iconic failures, the Nintendo 64 DD, the Game Boy Micro, the Wii U, but none can compare to the Virtual Boy. At least with the 64 DD, that was just an add-on exclusive to Japan. The Game Boy Micro was just a variant of the Game Boy Advance. The Wii U outsold Sweden. But the Virtual Boy was different. It was its own platform. It was its own entirely unique creature. It had its own games, its own style, and it couldn't even outsell Maine. You even know what I'm talking about? Ask your therapist, I'll give you the same answer I give all my patients. No. Okay, well, everything I see, there's this blue border around it all. That's the most absurd thing I've ever heard! And I've had patients that murder! Seeing a border is more absurd than murderers. They make great arguments! I just don't know what it is! I recently noticed it, and looking back, I feel like it's been obscuring my vision for as long as I can remember. What if there's something down there I can't see that it's blocking? Oh, it's just carpet. And it is looking pretty good today. I wish you could see it. See, you gotta help me! My sanity's at stake here! No, somebody's got a case of the Mondays. I mean, there hadn't been a full-blown Nintendo Direct since September of 2019, and we really didn't know what Nintendo's lineup looked like after Animal Crossing. Well, thank God that all changed on March 26th with a... Nintendo Direct Mini. Oh, it looks like we have a hearty dose of real-world issues affecting pretty much everybody's ability to work starting in March of 2020. So many people had to start working remotely from home that it definitely affected plans for the year. I just went outside and realized that. Oh my god. Because of such a thing, I think it's fair to lower expectations just a bit, as so many things prevented this year from being everything these game companies wanted it to be. Of course, a lot of issues reared their heads in 2020, so I will be referring to all of them each instance they get brought up. 
First up is Jaundice. Because of Jaundice, Nintendo had to settle for putting together a Nintendo Direct Mini in March, but I still find their silence on games after Animal Crossing puzzling. Let's test out on live. You know, maybe I'm giving Cloud Gaming a hard time. Maybe it can win me over. With silence. On Live was the first big cloud gaming platform. The technology was a thing before. The company G Cluster debuted a game streaming technology at E3 2000. What the hell did that look like? It's through the net. Plus, I don't think it's as comfortable as the 89 model. I don't like it when my hands on the back touch. Keep these things away from each other. Because liars are everywhere. They might even be staring you in the face. And this was when I lost credibility. Then Mario Galaxy, my favorite game of all time. It's a powerful feeling to play it portably. So this is what elected officials feel like. I mean, it's playing the Game Boy games and color and advance as well. However, this thing reeks of anti-personality. Compared to the Super Game Boy, I was worried that thing was gonna f my wife. But this is the definitive version of Pikmin in my opinion. And unlike other re-releases that change quite a bit, this is literally the exact same game as the GameCube one. Any tweaks are pretty minor and they are for the better. So we're off to a good start with New Play Control. This was completely warranted. So what happened the same day as New Play Control Pikmin? It wasn't the best day for multiple reasons. Jack Dropper Roll! This game holds a special place in my heart. My father died while playing it. No he fucking didn't! Hey, my dad didn't play a lot of Mario Party 2, but when he did, he died. <laughs> Okay, let's prepare for anything Luigi has in store here. Stop! No, I don't think that was brave. Oh, well, this will be a piece of cake. One guy, bitch ape, the ending writes itself. Finish! Put a gun in my head, I choose the ape over you. I doubt it. Yeah. Get a gun out! Which is why, concerning the holiday, I'm about to give you five better games to replace the act of mating. First up, at number five, Bart Simpson Fun Pack. Number four, Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. F*** you if you had sex instead of playing that game. Number three, going to Bass Pro Shop. Can you tell I'm single? Number two, Snoopy Silly Sports Spectacular, also known in Japan as Donald Duck. And finally, at number one, Rats for Game Boy Color. This game disappointed the hell out of me. It wasn't surprisingly good, it wasn't memorably bad, it wasn't even sexy enough. It just left me feeling empty on Sweetest Day, which, who could have expected that? Uh, now what? Wanna go to Bass Pro Shop? This is Bass Pro Shop, your one-stop shop to making up for not giving a shit about Oni Chambra. It's why they're still in business. You'd think it's all about fishing and hunting, but no, they sell all kinds of things here, like magazines. This one was weird considering it used the Wii Remote Nunchuck in the sensor bar. Well now you use the gyroscope for the pointer and it goes off center a lot. It works, but you have to recalibrate it to the center more than I'd like to admit, and man, that offers even more depth to Mario Galaxy's gameplay formula. Now you have to play the role of a level. Yes! Guys, I'm signing up for Verizon. They're they're gamers too! Verizon's E3 show on June 14th. What do you think they're gonna announce? It doesn't matter! They're gamers! Cooking Mama Cookstar released at the end of the month just to be taken off the eShop immediately for not having the rights to use the Cooking Mama brand. You need rights? Most multi-platform games came to Xbox One, which didn't make it immediately unappealing. Millions of these console sales are from people who literally just play FIFA and Call of Duty. And wouldn't you know, do I have a console for you? The Nintendo DS. Let's start with the Xbox Shampoo, coming to us from Lynx, after I try my Beats headphone soup. It's the Xbox Staple Green, which makes me happy there's no Nintendo Switch variant. Uh... Basically, it allows Xbox on your head like never before. This is Mario. He 100% deserves so much better, and it's not like I can just not buy it to tell Nintendo what I think. I'm a bitch! I can't help but admire the fact that these bundles help bring in new customers that may not have experienced these games otherwise. Wait. I mean, ha ha ha, f these things. And for the first month, it was completely free to download as a way to thank 3DS users for putting up with the fact the eShop wasn't available until four months after they got their damn systems. The 3DS was released in an incomplete and overpriced state, but they gave me Excitebike for free, bitches. In actuality, I was one of the schmucks who waited until August 2011 to buy their 3DS when the price dropped from 250 to 170. That was quite the discount, but because of that, I missed out on the 3DS Ambassador program, which gave those who bought the system for 
150 before August, 10 free downloadable NES games valued at $5 a piece, 10 free downloadable Game Boy Advance games valued at $7 a piece, and I missed out on free Excite Bike and had to buy it for $6. Did I save money or not? The Hannah Montana PSP bundle, obviously employed by Sony to get the Hannah Montana crowd to care about the PlayStation Portable, featuring such games as God of War, Got the Village, and Grand Theft Auto. Is that a penis? 100%, they were jonesing to get in on the more casual crowd, the DS Corner, by marketing the PSP to young girls, which includes a copy of Hannah Montana Rock the Show because, you know, girls play too. But can they spell? Well, that wasn't it for Nintendo this month. Out of nowhere, they announced Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, a successor to Hyrule Warriors, but this time being an official prequel to Breath of the Wild. Do we need gas? No. Nah. Let's get some. Do you work for the Waste Chasers? I prefer the term, we work for the Waste Chasers. Uh, how well can you guys waste? Sign this. Why? No reason. You're hired. All right, yeah. Hey, see your problem? This wall's being utilized. I was actually wondering if you could teach me how to waste with this. Hey all, Scott here. I got four words, three syllables, and one mistake for you. Ghost for sale. Located at Fleeting Smile Cemetery by Death Productions, you will need a membership to get in. Come on down and we'll set you up with a ghost. Try to find a store that's not Dollar Tree to do that. Act now and we'll give you a fresh ghost. Uh, Bravely Default 2 got a demo. Yes! I would like to introduce the future of gaming. Game streaming is an obvious step to take. I mean, pretty much all of the forms of entertainment are consumed via streaming, so naturally, Mario's next. I'm not opposed to the future. I'm just scared shitless about it. Gaming isn't like other mediums. It's honestly the most unique, so you can't really take what's happening with movies and music and apply it to video games. It may make sense on paper, but it's way more complicated than that. You can't ask a dog to fit into a cage too small for it, or ask a cat to be perfectly streamable online without any latency or lag. So, what is game streaming? Streaming. You come to the right place. Since it needs Wi-Fi to operate, you don't get a game card with the set. Instead, you have to download a free app off the eShop. Which means anybody can get in on the fun, even if you don't buy the physical set. Oh yeah, I got Mario Kart Live. Show us the card. Mm, didn't account for that question. Might I suggest a new hobby? I recommend a book to discover new things to get into. Stupid bullshit for dummies. I don't know what else I'm good at. What about you? Do you have any talents? I have a foot fetish. Really? Not yet. I'm trying to branch out of therapism. It'd be more interesting for my epitaph. So we'd be willing to do an experiment. As somebody with a foot fetish would say, yeah. I would have liked online play for the bingo battle mode and maybe reassurance that Pikmin 4 is still coming. We can't have everything, but we can have Pikmin 3 Deluxe for $60. Many still value this older style of game. While some want these older games to be recreated for the modern age, what if we took this modern thing and tried to recreate it using this rock? This is a demake, remaking a game on worse and or older hardware, possibly generations older, or it's just made in the style of older titles. It's interesting to see how a modern game works when it's met with the limitations of living in 1994. It doesn't. But again, this is a digital only game. When it's gone, it's gone. They released a physical collector's edition, but it only came with a download code, which is stupid. What if I get the collector's edition and don't download the game before April? Mm, yeah, that Fire Emblem downloaded. Show us the f Core. Well, let's take a look at what Metacritic deems as one of the worst games of all time. Second to Family Party, 30 Great Games, Obstacle Arcade. Which one do you want? Yeah. Well, here's the copy that I own since 2014. Ride to Hell Retribution. 1%. What is that, the Metacritic score? Immortals Phoenix Rising. What's that? For 2D games, the top-down perspective was usually the answer to prayers like that, but everything was still so flat and there were only so many things you could do and places you could go. At the time though, this was perfectly fine. But then gunshots were heard. Wow, Fortnite's included for free? They pulled it off! I will never understand the concept of bundling in a free game with your system. But hey, at least it's pre-installed, which saves me a step with downloading the game then deleting it. Now all I have to do is delete it. Free Fortnite V-Bucks and a special edition Switch dock and Joy-Con? How did Mario Tennis get stiffed? Why didn't this one come with 2,000 V-Bucks? Hey, this one is only a full game download, not preloaded. It does come with 1-2-Switch also as a full game download. Damn, this is work. It comes in a box, you get artwork, the console branding, the whole nine yards. Everything you'd expect from a physical release. 
except the physical release. Instead of a disc or cartridge, you get a download code because I really needed 16 more characters in my life. Once you redeem the download code, why do I own this? This is pointless. It's like the companies that are releasing these things are going, oh, well, this is good enough. If people who want physical versions of our games, they're too f***ing stupid to realize that we're taking the easy way out. And besides, all they want is the box anyways. Yeah, maybe a dumb bitch who overly values packaging. I get overjoyed when there's a random blank piece of paper included in the box. But you see, I may enjoy the box, but when there's nothing inside the box, what's there to enjoy about the box? The original name Gods and Monsters, I think was a much better title, but you just run into some copyright problems sometimes. At least they're talking to me. This is getting old. I may have finally stopped getting robbed two weeks ago, but I just started getting robbed three weeks ago. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. I'm gonna make some calls and get to the bottom of this. A bank? The bank? A bank. It was such an exciting era, and going back to it, most of it holds up tremendously. But I can't fit the controller in my mouth. Thankfully, Nintendo listened, and their next console, the Wii... Well, now they gotta re-release Pikmin. I don't really see much of a reason to buy this if you have the first, or buy the first if you have the second, though. F*** you, Puyo Puyo Tetris 2! Please, just analyze my brain when I'm out of it. We gotta figure out what's going on here. With what? That cat scanner in the corner over there? Yes. Oh, no, I'm not doing it. You never walked over there to get me a box. Hey, here's a flashlight to look in my ear. Go wild. Huh, well, you're in good hands. I'm quite knowledgeable on head. And what did you get on your SAT? Oh, a lot. It's expensive. I understand why not every game gets a physical release, but I just don't understand why some releases are treated like this, especially when the packaging is huge and they include all these other goodies or if the game is small enough to fit on a cartridge. And the strange thing is, this doesn't work for other mediums. I bought hot dog buns and they just came with a rain check for buns. Literally all the options are the same across the whole series, so it's all about the game now. The 3D effect is so good it made me deaf! Story mode is a treat and there's this new RPG type mode where you have party members and online is a blast and I get my ass kicked by anybody who picks the fucking fish from Puyo Puyo. Cue the music. You can make the argument you don't need this game if you have the first, it's pretty much more of the same with very little improvements. But that's because there wasn't anything to improve, fucker. If you include all the games included in Sonic Mega Collection Plus and the unlockable bonus games in Sonic Adventure DX, there are nearly 30 games in this set. At that point, did they really have to include Sonic Riders? Oh man, we can't just not include one more game. The people won't fall for that. They aren't stupid. They like Sonic. It's a really cool concept, but I find there to be no real middle ground I'm happy with here. It's either too slow and easy or too fast and confusing. The lower levels are chump change. It's just like, come on, give me some action. What the f was that? There was one Mario spin-off that was the Game Boy Zone though. Something fresh, something new, something definitively Mario. Mario's Picross. Because the Ted Danson deal fell through. Super Smash Brothers. Look at that real cartridge. This ain't no holographic trick. If it was, could I do this? See, it's real. But if you collect enough shines, you awaken the Gigabell. I knew this sounded familiar. One of the most famous examples of this is Halo 2600, a demake of Halo for the Atari 2600. Now, to be fair, this is a more completely different game in comparison to straight up playing Halo on Atari. I can't even begin to port these graphics over. Well, we can do the color green. 3D Tetris. Right away, this is probably the most enticing Virtual Boy game to me. Just the idea of Tetris in 3D is kind of intriguing and actually sort of takes advantage of the bane to my life expectancy. I'm pretty sure I'm infertile now. Hey, all Scott here. Let's do some math. 0.21% of gamers watch gaming presentations. That's just a fact. They like getting new game reviews thrown in their faces. Now, twice as many watch E3, the biggest time of year for gaming news. It's all about seeing all these games you've never even dreamt up before that's the point now we remove the point and we get e3 2021 whenever a game like this comes out i am happy because that means nintendo will move on to talking about other things damn it i don't speak for everyone here but getting multiple items bundled into one product makes things a whole lot easier you killed two birds with one stone i could get toilet paper by itself or i could save a trip and buy it with ranch and hey video games take up a lot of space here's my glover room but overall i just want to see more legacy nintendo content come over faster than this and for an affordable price Damn it! Hey y'all, Scott here. Please, for the love of God, don't mind me. I'm just doing some touch-ups to my high school yearbook photo. You think they'd let me do retakes nine years later? There's gotta be a grace period. I've been having trouble going to sleep thinking about what people thought of me back then, so hopefully this will change their minds. Okay, and we're done. I actually toned it down. I didn't want to get too late. Telling the truth. 
What are you, a bitch? This is the best sex I've ever had, and all I did was watch a Splatoon trailer. What is this design? It makes no sense. You know what'll get people to want Super Nintendo games? Geometry. Diablo 2 Resurrected? Great remake with tons of value here. But where are the rats? A Plague Tale Requiem. Holy sh**. I never thought about what next gen could do for rat tech. That's fine to me. Of course, the typical anime style has been crowding up a lot of the Smash Brothers DLC slots, so it's totally fair to be like, all right, I don't want pointy hair key, man. I want the Raisin Brand Sun, damn it. Doom's ass red cartridge. You know, the color of ass. Right? Oh my god, this version's so bad! It's impressive they got it on the Super Nintendo in general, but it's just not powerful enough for a game like this. Wolfenstein 3D works better, but it's heavily censored, which is kind of bizarre. Like, would you really be that surprised playing a game called Wolfenstein 3D? Hitler! But Nintendo is still working harder than a lot of other game companies. They put out more games than both of their competitors, even at their worst. At their worst. It's very easy to pick up and play. Now why it's on this thing is beyond me. Who wants to cock their head into a coffin on stilts to play a falling block puzzle game like this that has no worthwhile 3D effect whatsoever? Oh, the background is obviously in the background. Holy sh! You guys, something crazy happened on the way here. I walked over water. You mean the frozen pond? I'm not saying I'm Jesus. I'm saying I'm Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's just say if your name's Satan. You don't want to know. So then maybe this cartridge is a bit more worthwhile. Three in one, Super Mario Brothers slash Tetris slash Nintendo World Cup. There were three horsemen of the apocalypse. The Nintendo Switch is officially negative one year away from turning three. Four whole years of a device that can play Flip Wars. Let's celebrate. It's tradition for me. Every year around this time, I bitch. I have officially talked about my experiences with the Nintendo Switch annually for well over three days. So let's discuss everything Nintendo Switch related that occurred from March 2020 to February 2021. And when I say everything... I don't mean it. Listen, I'm not one to encourage popularity contests, but let's be honest here. The Wii sold over 100 million units. The GameCube, you wouldn't be caught dead f***ing a GameCube. The device was originally said to be similar in design to modern day VR headsets. I mean, head tracking, potentially a color screen. But the original and or best vision was consistently whittled down until we got this. All because Nintendo wanted something cheap and something that wouldn't get them sued. And they still got none of that. Video games are a business. The sooner I realized that, the smaller my family tree got. Pikmin 1 and Donkey Kong Jungle Beat were the first two games announced and most people were, ah, ah fucking befuddled. You could already play these games on your Wii. What's the point of this? If backwards compatibility wasn't an option, sure. I can see why they do this, but it was. Looking back on comments, people just didn't get it. Like stimulus checks. All right, here's the plan. Say no more. I booked us an appointment with somebody that owns a curtain. How do you find these people? I just thought people took things with curtains more seriously. L look at showers. Ugh, not this plan again. I'm not gonna f a shower. No, turns out the curtain owner hosts a talk show. Those demographics overlap? Barely, but if we go on this show, we'll reach all cable TV users. So nobody. Hey, that's more nobody than yesterday. What's this talk show about? I was hoping Blue Borders, but no, I had to lie to get us on. Hi, I'm Hector and Friends. That's not the name of the show, that's just my name, damn it. And welcome back to Throats for Thought, where we get to chat with throat users from all over the world and county. Our 15th guest today have throats. Let's get them out here. You don't know if you have a throat? I forget, I never took anatomy. Remember, if things aren't going our way and we need attention, when in doubt, vomit. No, just lie and say it's your birthday. That'll get us a sympathy vote. It is my birthday. I didn't think too many of these multi-packs existed until I realized one of the most famous products of all time is a multi-pack. Bick. Two in one Super Mario Brothers slash Duck Hunt. You know, much like opium, you couldn't buy this at the store. So instead of pathetic, let's try for fucking bizarre, my new store. Hey y'all, Scott here. I've decided to start playing game systems with names that perfectly describe me, so... I'm gonna start playing the microvision. Of course, these don't take up any less space if you don't start to comprehend the power of one millimeter of cardboard. These are the full-size game boxes in here. The outer sleeve is just kinda neat. Fresh bonus, use it for food. Everybody misses the good old days. Just ask Nixon. Man, remember when things were worse? I miss that. You just always look at things from your youth with more affection. Honestly, for anybody saying that this new game is worse than this old game from back in the day because it lacks the magic that one had, is that because you played that game as a kid and you always have better memories of it, so no matter what this newer one does, it'll never be better in your eyes or is it actually because that new thing is of lower quality in some cases yes but you get some double packs of games this way and a handful of gamecube and xbox releases were like this as well but i want to deal in more space for my feet hey all scott here it's been four years since i felt joy the nintendo switch has worn me out so much during each and every one of its birth months 
I can't look at a game called Snipper Clips the same ever again. I'm ruined. Why is the Nintendo Switch not exciting me anymore? Why is the way I am the way I am? Why does this have a bitter aftertaste? Well, that explains two things. Even the story was expanded. It's still not massive, but in comparison to the GameCube version, which had a single sentence explaining things, it's definitely slightly different. Jungle Beat on the GameCube story was, I don't know who Donkey Kong is, but he's pissed. I bought Donkey Kong Jr. Math. How do we know that? They're gonna break my legs. It was an investment. A fun investment. How yeah, fun is that 10 grand surgery you just had? Let me spend 200 in peace. You've gotta hand it to Nintendo. All the Donkey Kong Jr. fans are off the street now. Why do coke when you can do math? Hey all, Scott here. You know, the world's a much better place without things. Equity is the worst. I don't want the responsibilities that come with owning a door, but I sure do miss the perks of it. So I bought just a doorknob to put on my shelf. May not do much, but it reminds me what it's like to have purpose. Hey Hector, it's great to be on this show with a throat. Ever since I've gotten one, this has been a short-term goal of mine. Oh, who's this? Oh, he's my aide. Swallow. Thanks. Well, when I heard your story, I knew you had to be on the show. So, you have a throat? Does he ever? I won best throat at the state fair. I won biggest. Ever since I was 18, I was told my throat was my best feature. Okay, okay. Been notarized? What? I mean, any official throat user's been notarized. Hey, hey, if anybody has a throat here, it's Scott. I can tell you how many times I've been around this man and had a big- Damn, man! Stop using your throat! Listen, Hector, heck, may I call you hell? May I call you f I may not have my throat documents on hand. Would you settle for dental? There's a big blue border that's gonna eat you. Get off my show. No, we have to stop the blue border. It actively annoys everyone it affects. It has to end! Oh my god. My aunt just died. On my birthday? The Shark Tale and Shrek 2 combo cartridge, when you just can't pick who to shoot. Our story starts, well, my story starts, in the tallest tower of Jerusalem. I was locked up for losing a race to a tortoise, but that's irrelevant. Some called me a liar. I called myself Jesus Christ. But you can call me Rex, it's short for Rex Mose. My mother, bless her heart, was a virgin. And a bear. That's right, a virgin bear. The first of its kind. But you've never seen one of those before, huh? Might be asking how a virgin bear gave birth to me. I wonder that too. A camel was there. Motion controls with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. They really did change a man. I'm running for senator. But also, the fact Nintendo just announced this game randomly on Twitter, terrifying. I live in fear now. Nintendo also updated the NES and SNES online apps with YES! Panel Day Pawn on Switch featuring online multiplayer via the SNES app. This is all I ever wanted! Tetris Attack is one of my favorite Super Nintendo games, but this is the localized version of Panel Day Pawn in Japan. Instead of Yoshi's, we get small fairies. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I do prefer the Yoshi's, but this is still Tetris Attack gameplay. It's one of the most satisfying and addictive puzzle games out there. They couldn't do standard Tetris Attack due to the Tetris license. I'll take the fairies, damn it. Science on 3DS retains the wireless portal, so thankfully that lives on in the form of a Toys to Life game on a portable system. Please think about that. These were strange times. Play this on a bus. Hey, Grandma Mario Power Tennis is already on Wii. You just have to get a GameCube controller and memory card in the original game, which isn't in print anymore, and you can only find used copies of it in some GameStop stores and on eBay. Oh, f she said I'm in. But after this was all done, they announced the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters. They're re-releasing the first six Final Fantasy games on platforms that already have most of them. Square Enix fans, does this ever happen to you? <laughs> Though any sound that comes through this speaker makes me feel like I'm drowning, and vice versa. Holy sh I thought it was playing Mario. If it wasn't for the wireframes, this obviously would have been a pretty impressive game for the time. Plus, there's nothing really wrong with the gameplay, but as it stands, I don't know, man. I just feel like my time is worth more than this. That's right, I'm moving up the totem pole. That's it. There were more new play control games, but only these three titles carry the name in North America. Like, you don't name Jaundice if only three people get it. This is on another level. It's about as epic as something like Red Dead Redemption 2. And you know what they say, you can't spell Red Dead Redemption 2 without Ride to Hell Retribution Red Dead Redemption 2. Premier Edition, what, this includes the only two things you can use. What's an edition of Google Stadia about this? What could they possibly add or remove from this package to make it a different edition? I need more. I want people to look through my window and see a bunch of garbage and say, that looks like a fun house to break into. So I was shifting between two options. I was thinking my first accessory to nab would be a, a window, but this one had deal or no deal. That, of course, involved game and console showcases, basically what Nintendo had planned for the near future, and the 1994 show was all about virtual boys. Well, I misread that. Nintendo's then president, Hiroshi Yamauchi, stood proudly and unveiled the future of his company. Oh, you don't even know what 
it is! I love this system, though. Why does the controller have to be this way? Why can't the buttons be slightly angled? You know how your thumb is? And when they redesigned the controller, they made the button placement worse! I woke up and my thumbs were like this one day. I was so fucking happy I could use this controller. Finally, I can play Grand Theft Auto portably! I never said I was happy with my life. The Virtual Boy came packed in this here box. It looks more magic eye picture than video game. Oh, it's a piece of sh**. The Nintendo DS headset. That's right. Nintendo basically refused to make a wireless headset for any game console except the DS. You could use this with Pokemon and Brain Age. You do math like a bitch. What shape like a brick and gives you hours of fun? It's a close second. The Nintendo Game Boy. That's right, it's a minor. Well, here's hoping Google Stadia will save the day. The Google Stadia <laughs> controller. See, there's almost never anything unique about controllers made by companies outside of the main ones. Setting up Stadia is pretty simple and we're into the action pretty soon. You did get a couple of big new releases, but it's never been enough to make Stadia <laughs> your go-to platform. So here's the thing about Google Stadia. I'm out of fluids. Physical video games are hard to make. I mean, I couldn't do it. This is the best I could do. Sometimes two things just go together. Seven, if you're open-minded. I'm finally ready to not get laid for the fifth time. Let's start off with vanilla Sonic and Knuckles. Regardless of how incomplete the cartridge looks, let's play Sonic and Knuckles. They don't do anything new. There's never any real announcement here. It's just, Just Dance is coming this year. Yeah, I know, I got the alert too. It feels like something that should have seen more success, but Nintendo realized kids hate moles. F you. Advertisers know they could just show you what the actual game is gonna be like, or they could visualize what it will feel like. Garbage. Yes, let us delve into the world of Virtual Boy with the help of my patented 12 point skill and liquor. Each Virtual Boy game will be rated on a scale from one to 12. If you're asking why it goes up to 12, why are you asking about the validity of Virtual Boy review scores? 5G data speeds are here and they're gonna help us do esports and develop games and watch games online. I just care so much about gaming and game rooms and video games. What's next on the chopping block for video games? Well, corporations hate physical media. They want us all to move to digital, trying to make physical as less appealing as possible. I think they've been spitting in my games. There's some truth to why old people call anything that beeps a Game Boy. They worry me. Screen protectors? Yep, you need those, especially for the bottom screen. Uh, but I never really was a big screen protector guy. I don't know, I consider any scratches to have stories behind them. Uh, this was when I was a jackass. This was just when I was a fucking idiot. Tetris on the Game Boy continues to be one of the best versions of Tetris. I know what you may be saying. Scott, fucking Tetris is fucking Tetris. Oh man, grass was way better back then. Here. Are you about three large footsteps away from the grave? Need to go time before you go kathunk in a casket? Might I suggest learning to talk about video games? What else would I do at my funeral? If it wasn't for talking about video games, I'd be happy. It takes a lot of no shame to do, so tell me, are you gonna learn how to talk about video games? Or are you gonna have integrity? Ugh. Look at this. This is your life now. First step to talking about video games is not playing video games, and I cannot stress that enough. Why be a video game player when you can make silly comments about them? It's the same sentiment I have towards the working class. So, put the controller down and repeat after me. This game is f***ing bullshit! Game bullshit. 
Video games are art, and have been one of the leading ways for artists to express themselves in recent memory. Discussing them is completely warranted, but if you're worried about losing the listener's attention during, make sure to spice things up by making funny random noises. <laughs> while discussing said video game, don't be afraid to not talk about video games while talking about video games for roughly 5-10 to 10 minutes while you act out some kind of a skit. Make sure it isn't funny. Some people call this a waste of time. I call it a filibuster. You gotta have your arch nemesis game, one you just can't escape from. Sure, you could just not play it, but then what would I have to do tomorrow? Hey, it's been a while since that random noise. Still there? Stand in front of your game collection to announce your resignation from society. It's a good thing to yell a lot. People won't take you seriously if you aren't screaming. I call this the Thanksgiving dinner approach. Now, it's really important to act like you're better than the game you're talking about. Uh, this can be achieved with a few- Who made this? And what is this game? But if you don't know what to say, you can always just start acting awkward and give yourself a double chin. So on to the next one, which is the one after the- that, that, last one the next one is the stuff it's 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 it, 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 it's the one swearing yes swearing is a genetic staple of the video game player you truly play video games if you can say fuck about them and if you aren't willing to say fuck uncensored get, get, get the fuck out of here duly noted you have to have an opinion on every game. The right opinion! You have to play every game too, and like every game, except for the bad ones! If you mess up one of these, play it off as a joke. Maybe make a funny quip about it and shake some yellow text around you to prove you're serious about being funny. FUNNY MOMENT! And you can't just talk about video games, you gotta be funny, especially if you're not funny. That way you can deflect criticisms by stating you shouldn't be taken seriously. If you need to be seen playing video games, hold the controller as close to your chin as possible and frown. Can you tell the controller's not even plugged in? Are you better than the person listening? No, but you have more Wii U games than them, so always remind them of that. You act accordingly to anything happening on screen, i.e. Scream. <laughs> and when you start talking games with people, make sure to not see them there. Oh hi, I didn't see you there. You have to do your research and get everything right about Mega Man 4. If you don't... Well, you look like an idiot. If someone pays you to talk about a video game, don't act like you already had integrity. Maybe you could gather various like-minded people together and pose a threat. And like watch yourself or I'll start a podcast. Feel free to really express some emotions here. You're talking about video games for God's sake. I'd cry too if I were talking about Mario Party. If you're having a hard time crafting your own things to say about these games, never count out plagiarism. It's some myth anyways. The alphabet's not copyrighted. Go. Of course, everybody has their own opinion, and that's the way it should be. There's never going to be a right or wrong one to have on a video game, and if someone disagrees with you, you can always call them a f over email. The server still focuses on PlayStation 3 games, but there are a few PS2 and PS4 games available. With these, you can actually download to your system and play without streaming. It's a really great way to play games you're ashamed to outright purchase. I mean, half of the problems with playing Sonic Forces is owning it. But all of these games are available to stream. The PS3 games are only available to stream, so let's give that a try. <laughs> Okay, pretty good. So here's the thing. My internet connection is okay. I think I'm officially the only person to not say it's either really good or really bad. It's like when the 3DS XL came out, every single review had to brag about how big their hands were. This system is so much better because I have really big hands. F me. I guess because 3D World had a ton of competition on release day. Not only was Nintendo releasing it alongside The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds on 3DS, not only was it launching the same day as the Xbox One and its launch games, but it was releasing the same day as Mario Party Island Tour. And the Xbox One never recovered. The whole family can share a Wii, but each member needs a DS for every finger. I personally owned a white Nintendo DS Lite and went out of my way to ensure I got the DSi. So I can at the very least confirm, while the DS family sold 150 million plus, subtract one from the user count. And two D-pads, which is the most unique thing about this. That's a lie. This conference had the theme of the Nintendo difference. What are you, a brand of paper towels? Now, according to Nintendo, the Nintendo difference is this. An absolute fetish for quality. Hey guy, what's your fetish? Uh, well, quality, quantity, the pursuit of happiness, ass and chips. Well, that's a great first impression. Not only am I eyes being gouged out, but I'm bored too. Look at the films and TV series Ubisoft is working on. The show Mythic Quest and the film Werewolves Within, based on the game I've never heard of. Apparently it's a VR multiplayer game from 2015. So that gets a movie, but not Rayman Advance. Super Mario Land 3 isn't a Mario Land game, much like how Super Mario World 2 is in a Mario World game. They both take characters from the previous entries and give them their own spin-off series. They just had to give them a Mario subtitle to really sell it to ya. Sure. Nestor's bowling. No, oh, Nestor's funky bowling. Oh, I am so f***ing ready. Nestor's funky f bowling. Leave it to Nestor to give bowling the funk. That's why I waste 40 gigabytes downloading Neo when you can stream it.
Because streaming's for bitches, all right? If you own any console from the past decade, you're pretty used to the idea of deleting files to make room for new games at this point. It doesn't matter anymore. Is saving space? Yeah, that's a feature for most game consoles now. Well, at least we have NVIDIA GeForce now. Finally, a cloud gaming service with a name for the masses. My mom asked me how the latency was on this. This is an NVIDIA Shield TV. It's a tiny box you buy to watch Netflix. Now, why would you buy this tiny box compared to this tiny box? If you're one of those that refuse to buy anything with less than three gigs of RAM. No. And that was the Square Enix Presents at E3. I didn't like it. What was the point of this? Nintendo 64 is a solid rebound. If by solid, you mean painful. Good thing I only see in five frames a second. Target enjoys the concept that they sell you a game console, which you keep buying games for at Target. At least that's what I've gathered. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Oh, this collector's edition comes with stones. I swear to God, if they're just eggs. Not again. Why would you release a pointless box copy that has less value than a standard release? Oh wait, it comes with a pin. And no matter how good their best games are, they never really reach the heights of other companies in my opinion, and I don't really see any massive Ubisoft only fans out there. I only saw two tattoos. It's a joke book that's really morbid. With the casual appeal of systems like the DS and Wii, it became more apparent than ever how many non-gamers understood 2D gaming far more than 3D. 3D, you have to worry about a camera system, and it's like, fuck you, I already have a mortgage to deal with. A game like the original Super Mario Brothers, most players could deal with. Hell, many found it fun. Super Mario 64, join the occult, dad. And the game cartridge itself is an infrared sensor. It actually concerned me when I saw it. I thought it was a bootleg since the cartridge is so much darker than usual. I never knew this is what the black market was like. Hey y'all, Scott here. I need a bath. Ubisoft press conferences are like sponges. Why would you watch it? I'm a Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 nut. I know what I'm talking about here. This is an incredibly fast-paced game that needs split-second reactions, and when it gets towards the end of a run, I found it painfully difficult to make turns while streaming. Oh, well, that's PlayStation now. It can't play Pac-Man. Nobody else with technology from 1840 can. I think my biggest issue with PlayStation now, though, is that it's still pretty clunky. Now it's described as games on demand. <laughs> Give demand a second. It's not that bad, but PS4 games take a while to load. Playing a game boots you out of the PS Now app and it appears on your home screen like you bought it. In fact, for every single game I played, I get an email thanking me for my purchase. It thinks I purchased all of these games. They always say zero dollars. Sony, give it up, I'm not replying. So for $5.99, Eh, it's okay. When you're in the $6 territory, there's not a ton you can do to argue against its value. Like, what were you gonna spend those $6 on? Xevious? Oh, he's got a bunch of things out. Come to think of it, the Nintendo 3DS could have had a Pokemon Snap, using Fatal Frame as another example. It's always my best excuse. So we gotta avoid those and... Whatever the f*** that was. Oh man, I ran into a car which fades us to black and sends me back a little bigger. <laughs> I'm sorry! Stalker 2. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, look at all these things. These are some huge names. You know what, I'm gonna try No Man's Sky, but first I have to join GeForce Now and create an account. All right, so I create an account off screen and log in here. Okay, I need a gamepad and Nvidia is fucking terrified of my internet connection and I also have to perform a system update. No worries, no worries. Let's do that and try connecting an Xbox controller to the Shield TV for 35 minutes. Boom, found it. Can control the entire Shield TV with an Xbox controller. This is the happiest I've been in 35 minutes. Hey, let's try something like Fortnite. That game being streamable is a match made in heaven. It's incredibly popular and having it streamed and playable on any device, that's a no-brainer. Let's try again. Let's try again harder. Okay, I might have been logged out after updating. Let me log back into my GeForce Now account. Back to the game selection. You know what? Rocket League. That's a fun game. I have my gamepad. I'm logged in. Let's do it. <sighs> Okay, so all these games aren't available on GeForce Now like PlayStation Now. GeForce is allowing me to play my Steam library or Epic Games library or whatever on my Shield TV or other devices using cloud technology. So these are basically games on Steam that support GeForce Now. So you log into GeForce Now, then into your Steam account, and you can then stream games that you own on Steam that support GeForce Now. Okay, well for Rocket League, it looks like I need an Epic Games account. Thankfully, I can sign up via the Shield TV using my Xbox controller to control the mouse. I sign up for the account and get a verification code in my inbox. I try to enter it. The screen is frozen, so I try to sign up for an Epic Games account on my laptop, add Rocket League to my library on my laptop, then sign into the account on the Shield TV to access it. I sign in, play Spot the Boat. And that's GeForce Now. Uh, keep in mind, I use Apple products, so I'm a fucking idiot. Sunshine was a bit more love it or hate it for some. Wow, you hate water? Then what, you hate 70% of your body? Yeah, 
yeah. Yeah, okay, look up the most expensive and difficult to make movies of all time. Chances are, they're the same price to watch as the Poltergeist of Borley Forest. I guess movies may be a weird comparison. I think a comparison people don't make enough are actual games. With 3D games, there's more that can go wrong. Well. I'm done with Sonic. You know, I put off years of colonoscopies just due to my business surrounding playing all these games, but now I'm free. So tell your family's proctologist to clear their schedule. 12 years from now. Sound of mobile games are detailed because the E3 audience loves it. Square, my fingers are too dirty to play mobile games. Well, I didn't ever lose the stylus. I definitely lost this little piece as it was completely unnecessary. It didn't do anything except make you feel better about yourself. Like what if people see me on the train? M Metroid 5? Oh my God, a new 2D Metroid. This looks so clean. And if you try to play with the guitar grip on the DSi or DSi XL, reality sets in. Various eye havers are reporting a phenomena where a blue border is obstructing their view. Nobody knows why, but it seems that the entire state of Ohio is affected. Whoa, 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 whoa! Other states would contact Ohio to help, but it seems that they would have to be convinced that Ohio is real first. Oh my god, you know what this means? It's not Michigan! Just like Excitebike, this is in widescreen as well, though being a vertical shooter, there's not a ton you could do to make the game widescreen while also perfectly recreating it. Like, okay, if Xevious is in widescreen now, well, there's gonna be no enemies on the sides of the screen, and if you put enemies on the sides... This isn't my Xevious! Here it is, Super Mario 3D World. This title is horrible! It's bad enough the logo is an exact copy of 3D Lands, but with a cattail photoshopped on, but I've heard so many people get this name wrong, getting it confused with 3D Land in the original Mario World, it makes me so angry. There's Knuckles' is hard mode, Sonic is normal, and Tails is easy. So why can't I find him? Easy to use, easier to lose. Yeah, Sonic and Knuckles on its own is just like Sonic 3. Wait one second just like Sonic 3. So how do you convey what 3D can do to enhance your gaming experience? You make good games that use it properly or you re-release Excitebike. Wow, I wonder what Nintendo will do. Okay, so Jake knows that him and Mikey's dad has a pass and this gang wants to kill any member of his family. So, so why does Mikey keep wearing the damn jacket? That made him the target of these people. It's a jacket that has insignia that can easily be identified as their father's, which makes it a danger to wear around these people. Guess who gets their neck slit? So Mikey's dead. Rats. And if you didn't realize that, here's an instant replay in slow motion. Jake gets really upset, but the gang doesn't kill him for some reason, even though Mikey said Toledo Conway was both of their fathers. Toledo, Ohio. Everybody's your dad here. Doesn't matter that much though, because the game is piss easy. I wish I didn't have to use that adjective, but hey, just shows they gotta make urination harder. That's just more incentive to buy more figures to have more and more chances to get through the stages. They're not forcing you to do it, but of course that's how an adult sees it. I'm sure kids thought they needed Ghost Roaster, their life depended on it. We all see the gameplay like this. The kids see it like this. Back then I even tried to get the cashier to card me while buying it. I am feeling pretty underage today. I moved the DS, I moved Tony Hawk in the game. It works okay, but at the end of the day, it just makes you want a real voodoo doll. Super Mario 3D World kicks things off with a Greek tragedy. The kings all here during fireworks and they notice a pipe! Clear pipe. This isn't the Mario I know. They fix it and out pops a Sprixy princess, a fairy that is begging for help. Bowser captured the other ones. This is a direct reference to those 2D art pieces shown before each world in Super Mario 3D Land, but this is the only time it ever happens in this game, which is just kind of strange. It is I, a picky bitch. Speaking of Pokemon, here we have Learn with Pokemon. No! You got all this trouble to make up for the lack of a stick, which just makes me ask, why didn't you just add a stick? I refuse to take baths, I instead bathe in body spray. Hey y'all, Scott here. So, it's about that time. Let's have the talk. Let's talk about birds, bees, hell, even sex. I've gone across the country teaching the proper education professionally, and I've learned it all from this here book. So let's start with chapter one, Luigi's Mansion. I got him. 
make some calls. It's finally that time of the year. Here we have a cleaning kit. This helps us get dust and grime out of both cartridge slots. Me personally, I'm okay. I have a tub. I remember bringing my Game Boy Advance to kindergarten, to which most 80 year olds would say, that makes me feel old. Even if they didn't have anything to show, Nintendo made it clear that a new 3D Mario done by the Galaxy and 3D Land team was in development for Wii U and would be shown and playable at E3 2013. My god, this game could be called anything. Super Mario Universe? Super Mario Universe again? The main idea I saw thrown around was a sequel to the Galaxy series, subtitled Universe, playing off the Wii U name because honestly, there weren't a ton of other options. Speculation ran wild up until E3 that June. Expectations were high and my virginity was nearing tornado siren levels. The E3 2013 Nintendo Direct started and shortly after, Iwata told us to take a look. Yes! No! A dot matrix display. What does that mean? It means let's get the hell out of here. But it didn't matter because we got... <laughs> Christ, Metroid Prime Federation Force? Mario Party the Top 100? Triforce Heroes? Mario Sports Superstar? Pokemon Rumble Blast? Yoshi's New Island? Paper Mario Sticker Star? Hey... Pikmin? There's the Nintendo Switch, guys. Oh my god, isn't Super Mario and R so quirky and unique? Nintendo, who's running your eShop now? Oh, great, a controller for rats. Bravely default to, is that a sentence? Demon X Machina, this is still medically the only game with the 60 or above on Metacritic to have given me pink eye. Paper Mario the Origami King. F it. Oh, but we skipped over an important console here. The Sega Master System. It's so charmingly pathetic. What the f*** is this? Who asked for this? Why do I have to look between the TV and gamepad to change system settings? Nintendo TV, ha <laughs> f*** you. Yeah, why not publish Devil's Third Nintendo? The Wii U microphone exists. There's a goddamn mic on the gamepad. Why are these two cases black? Why is this one cream color? Why does this one not have the blue ridge? Why remake Wii Sports? Why swap between controllers so much? Why in Super Mario 3D World's multiplayer does this big blue border appear? Everything Nintendo's done, I have something to bitch about! Why is this wet? Why does this repel virginity? And again, in Mario 3D World, why in multiplayer does this big blue border appear? I get that it's supposed to tell you that the players are too far apart, but it comes out of nowhere, it sometimes doesn't leave, and it's just always there, mocking me, just like every shape I've ever met. Where does this blue border get off? Wait. It's like... Go away! I hate shapes! Is this how it's always been? Overall, not a bad launch lineup. Two of the most iconic games on the entire platform, one of them packed in, a fun breakout game, and two sports titles if you want to get laid. I'm sick of living in the dark about this. I'm gonna go into the credits and find who to harass. I'll give a reek of this, they're hard to threaten. I'm open to an all digital future. I mean, I prefer how things are now with physical games, but I'm not gonna resist it. I've accepted that this is how the future is looking. And cloud gaming has a ton of potential as a supplement to regular gaming because I will be damned if my next game console is a skin tag. The original Game Boy model wasn't the hottest looker though. This thing, Looks like it would just taste awful. After a two minute long driving section that was time for some reason, we're now off our motorcycle and cornered by everybody. What led to this? Oh man, Jake does the sick move, watch. Don't you move now, Cherry Pie. Did you see it? Cause you sure didn't hear it. It makes the handheld playable at night. That's pretty much all it does. You know, I was hoping it was gonna give me advice. I'll meet up with the guys and we'll be right over. 
man, I know we're playing Mario Party, but take off the hat. We're going to a funeral. I did not know we were playing Mario Party. By the way, I thought it'd be good for us to loosen up a bit beforehand. The last funeral I went to, I f***ing cried. Wow, what? Did somebody die or something? No. God, that funeral bond. Well, we'll just have to make sure this is the best funeral ever. Yeah, we gotta make good impressions. Way ahead of ya. You sure about that? Maybe just a nice smile will do. Hey, I wasn't finished yet. Hey, guys. I don't know if I can do this. Do we really want to support the death industry? It's too big to stop. I say just embrace it. Forget about everything and enjoy yourself. Well, the last one we went to together didn't live up to the hype. Yeah, the corpse is okay. Everything else is just kind of mediocre. I, it's just, it, it's all too much, you know? I can't stand to see somebody lifeless again. I just can't emotionally handle it. Sounds like you need to learn apathy. Oh, come on, I wasn't expecting to mourn today. So here's my Bass Pro Shop haul. Uh, first up, I bought bear spray. Uh, helps get a bear away from ya. Or you could just shoot it. Fruit roll-up trays, I love the candy. Ground meat freezer bags. Uh, bear bell. Uh, attached to belt or pack when hiking, camping, or fishing in bear country. I guess it makes it easier for a bear to find you. Hey all, Scott here. I have to make a decision. My life depends on it. What do I take? Well, this one does have knuckles. The game does struggle with how big and chunky the sprites are. I mean, the original Mario Land, I was worried the sprites were my spittle on the screen. Most 3D games had a hearty dose of quotation marks involved. They definitely were more 3D than not, but too many 2D elements were involved to truly make them feel like there's no going back from this. Sonic 3D Blast. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, let's take a breather in the form of E3 2001 memorabilia. These Activision 02 hats were given out. Activision 02 was a sub-brand they used for their sports games. Cause sports require oxygen! But it's a great title in its own right and deserves more recognition. It was the debut of Wario, I can't say that about myself. Even if you preferred how 64 and Sunshine worked, Galaxy was so damn cool. Like I'm wearing overalls in space, go f yourself. Mole Mania debuted on the Game Boy, that's something you hear every day. We get it. So many parallels between this and Mario 3D Land. The box design, the game disc and card follow the same format. Even the manual takes design cues from 3D Land. Except the spine, that takes cues from Mario Galaxy 2. I wish my spine did. All of his games were simple, easy to pick up, and worked on the system well. Putting him in a pinball game, a breakout clone, a puzzle game, it all made sense. Kirby fits everywhere, put him in court, I don't care. A series that consistently were 2D only, it skipped main entries on consoles during this time. A classic Mega Man, Kirby, Yoshi, and when they wanted to do something like a new Mega Man X game, Ever try to play a 3D game with a weird mode on its side? Ever kill a ghost? They know how people act, and it just makes the whole experience that much more fun and hilarious that everybody's fighting over a crown that amounts to nothing. They should write a book about war. The first multiplayer 3D Mario adventure, because Galaxy 1 and 2 only gave birth to single and a half player. Oh wow, you're pregnant with twins? Only kinda. Next 3D Classics release came to Japan on July 13th and everywhere else on August 18th. That being 3D Classics, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Urban Champion is an old school black box NES game, meaning it saw Reagan. Of course, I don't think the casual audience really understood that. I think this and this both look the exact same to them. They don't really see the value in a multiplayer Mario in a 3D space compared to a 2D one, like this commercial sells it. But for plastic gropers like us, this is easily the best multiplayer Mario platformer. 3D, making old things new oh. again. Get the f off me. Shut up, old man. No! Hey y'all, Scott here. You ever stare in front of the mirror and practice what you're about to say to somebody? Hey, you know what they say, go f yourself. Nintendo 3DS was released in early 2011 featuring a glasses-free 3D display. I can't see anything. All right, well, let me reload and try again. Well, we find Orson's place, steal his bike, he calls the cops, so now we have a driving segment. <laughs> Looks like I have to make this jump. We're nine hours in. What about taking a popular mobile game and putting it on a console? Whoever thought of that should get a Nobel Prize. In hell. $250? I can get surgery for that price. I never said it was quality. I know exactly how badasses operate. Watch, I can draw blood with a plastic knife. No. <laughs> okay, so I got cut with a plastic knife, though I drew blood with a plastic knife. Am I a badass or a p 
galaxy. Yeah, they pretty much recreated the entire game with 3D models. Why have we not stepped foot on Mars? Because we wasted our time doing sh like this. I thought this was an entirely new cut the rope game made specifically for the 3DS. Triple Treat is like Angry Birds Trilogy, three cut the rope mobile games converted to a video game system, in this case, the 3DS. The back screenshots have these 3D models of Omnom and I thought like, okay, that must be a new bonus side game or something. Well, and they still use 3D graphics, but kept the playing field 2D. You can only go left, right, up, or down, which created the term 2.5D. What's half a Z? It's a 2D game with 3D graphics, or a 3D game played from a 2D perspective, dead. Pay attention. So, okay, that makes sense why it would be chosen for the 3D treatment, but when you only have six games to do this with and you chose a game nobody's heard of that already had very similar gameplay to another game you already remade, with this being one of only two games in this lineup that Nintendo didn't develop, so they had to go out of their way to license out. I'll stop talking shit on Twin B. Morning. Correct. Welcome to the fun side of my brain, filled with an urge to collect video games and an obscene amount of Nintendo knowledge. I call it my wild side, doctors call it a tumor. I just like consistency, knowing these things will always be here, organized, alphabetically. This is my thing, thank you. It used to be abstinence, but this works more. Everybody should get into this kind of stuff. We'd all have the same hobby. That way it'll be even more confusing why nobody would talk to me. Many consider this a waste of time, so that I say, well, so is living. Things could be worse. Sure, stupid Nintendo games may be my only true hobby, but at least I'm not politically aware. I mean, there is no true end in sight here. I did the math, and there are a lot of stupid Nintendo games. There's no excuse now. Everybody should have no life. Over 15,000 games to try to discuss and later shelve The consistency alphabetically And player's choice can go to hell The size and shape of discs and cards For an hour or so I'll talk I'd swipe right on them till both my thumbs are stems Cause every day's Fat Tuesday in my eyes This world doesn't give my passion they all think we play motions a sin But it's their loss for they got no spare time to waste This is something I know we should all embrace I'm on a quest to address all the requests Please understand this kind of stuff is virgin genetic cachet We have been blessed, no time to rest, I've got a lot to undress You don't need sex, this is better anyways It's stupid Nintendo games It may be hard to find a place to start, so might I suggest not that. Might I suggest a guys to start things out, then moving on to pack and roll. Lost in blue and Tetris 2, or whatever's left at Coles. Nigel Mansell plus Clubhouse Games, name a better pair to taste. If you said Madden 09 and skin, get the fuck out of my face. Tell me that you understand. As a vegan, this fits my diet plan. They make for great target track. As long as I'm not having sex. You didn't tell me one of these was fucking gex. I shouldn't dwell. I've got no sex to sell. Take them all and distribute them and you're spread and we play. It's a swell, these extra copies extra ban you from hell. I've got a fling smash to play every single day. Stupid Nintendo games. I might be slightly obsessed. How could I not be? Have you seen these? I've got no shame to blame. If you're down and feeling blue when life drops in around you, there's a solution for all that pollution to loot in your brain. Stupid Nintendo games. Who wants to compare pens? You're gonna have mega fans say how if you're not playing the original, you're just not playing Kid Icarus. You truly haven't lived until you've been shot in the face. Now with a cartridge port on top, you may be asking, Scott, what are you gonna do? Check it. Where am I? You can just keep kicking a guy until they eventually die. Other enemies around will practically never do anything to you, and if they will, it's always a telegraphed attack where you hit the Y button when that appears. Who knew the kick was mightier than the sword? Oh, sh oh, sh oh sh it's something I'm surprised more games didn't do. Like, come on, you put all this work into a lock on logo, at least license it out to something, like, like guns. The problem is, I only do what Space Invaders does. 
My diet is beyond limited. Lucky for the bath fan inside of me, I have no excuse. See, marketers have discovered there is no Venn diagram between bath fans and gamers. It's just a circle. I'll give the game this. The title screen is much better than Sonic 3's. Every time that one started out, I flinched. So we get to choose between two characters. I hope one of them's Jimmy Buffett. Best of two. No, I've given you more than enough chances. One. And you weren't willing to be my bitch. I wasn't gonna make an exception for you. You never paid your bills and as a bank, we have to treat everybody the same. It's our sworn duty to f everyone over. Come on, give me a break. Come on, I, I saved your wife from getting shot. She's a convicted serial killer. How can you expect me to get out of debt? I can't be employed. I'm unemployed. You act like it's a religion. More or less a kink. Listen, you pay us back by tomorrow, you can have your stuff back. How about you take this and we call it even? I don't want your bribe. I'll give you a five to want it. Speaking of the opening cutscene, I'm surprised I haven't asked the only question I ever tend to ask during Sonic games. What's happening? Chase down Caesar, kill him by gouging his eyes out, tell him to stay cool. Stay cool. I'm done! Big fucking hands. Next up is Flying Battery Zone, a stage on a blimp. Thank you. Okay, so I really like this design, but it just reminds me of the people who wear NES t-shirts. I'm awkward. Back two is a piece of garbage. It's like a sort of labyrinth where everything looks the same and you fuck up one jump and bam, I'm 20 miles down with no hopes of getting out and on top of that, there's ghosts. Well, that just makes everything worse. Damn it. Stop the reading my mind. It's like they know what I want, Nintendo. What things do I want next? I was not expecting them to get that right. Got the rope launched on the Nintendo DSi shop channel in September of 2011. I should know, I bought it back then. I think you could all tell. Technically, you can use it on your body and face as well, so it is multi-purpose. I think a better term for it is Xbox skin jelly. I assume the audience for this is people who have never bathed before, but love Xbox. And according to my research, I just can't see them existing. Yeah, Retribution was the only Ride to Hell game that I actually released, which means it's on the same level as Applebee's and Chicken Fingers. It exists. You know, for its localization, they really changed things up and removed an E. We gotta bring this over to America. What do we change about this image? Too many letters! You could argue 4D gaming is something like virtual reality, but I will categorize 4D like movies and theme park rides do. If my chair moves, that's the fourth dimension. Maybe someday we'll get a true fourth dimension in gaming, but for now, we gotta settle for Frogger 3D being the farthest we can go. Heading to the hotel, this girl's getting into a fight with this guy, so I kick the blood out of him and it cuts immediately to... See, with the speedruns of Ritel Retribution, even though skipping the sex cutscenes is 100% beneficial, nobody does it. Well, immediately afterwards, we're in Sky Sanctuary Zone, another one act deal. This one, pretty good. All right, we pissed the bed with Sandopolis, shit in a car with Lava Reef, and my dinner with Hidden Palace. This one is challenging, but really fun. Dozens of articles claim that the PSP was going to win the war against the Nintendo DS because by God, why wouldn't it? You got Spider-Man 2 at the launch and this ain't no phony baloney Game Boy Advance or Nintendo DS version. Nah, this is gonna be the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube Spider-Man 2 on the go. Do you have no shame? So bring in Amazon. They're just as bad as Google. They have a lot of money and nobody to love. I think overall, 2001 may have been the biggest year for video games games of all time. God, Scott, stop sucking the year off. Nibbles just got done serving in Vietnam. I think there's only so much deducing I can do here. The year, the army base, the only thing missing is seeing straight up the professional spelling of Nam, comma, Viet. All right, guys, we're going to space. Remember your coats. I'll just pick one up on the way there. Terry Lessler, you'll be our treasurer. Geriatrics HR, Jeb Jeb Customer Support Representative, Rex Mo's Moral Support Representative, Target Employee, Catering. Good thing I didn't pack clothes. Yeah, I'd like to file a complaint. Ready for liftoff, cramming good luck charm down pants, setting Tinder radius for 50 miles and beyond. Hello, please? Yeah. Yeah, that's space. God, that's a lot of f***ing space. After Smash, we get a look at what's called the next in the Mario series. Oh, ah! 
ladies and gentlemen, the next in the Mario series. You ever play any of these Atari compilations when they're in crystal clear HD and it just makes you realize how stupid you feel while playing these games? Guess what I'm playing with an Xbox controller. Why, yes, I'm fucking stupid. What is like Nintendo is to show us something we can't have. Both got pretty poor reviews, though surprisingly the Wii one did a bit better. I saw this on a few worst of 2009 lists for the Wii specifically, which made it hard for my mom to buy me the game. I don't know, GameSpot gave it a three. Uh, cancellation was all but confirmed, but four years later, there was life. We'll send you a care package to help you get back on your feet, but until then, sir, this is a Domino's. I thought you said this was a bank. Yeah. A night bank. Nintendo announced Pikmin as their next Pokemon in the sense that it may not make sense now, but just you wait. Give it some time. So we have to traverse this church while King Dick constantly throws dynamite and his men shoot at me. So you want to stay behind cover, but staying behind cover isn't going to work if dynamite is being thrown in your direction. My point is life f***ing stinks. It's fine. I can go without talking about video games. I can just play them and everybody's happy. Wario. But who gives a sh when the PS1 LCD screen is announced? I think it says right here. This was a big deal, and with its insane critical and commercial success, it showcased that Dead Series could have more life than initially thought. Rock Band 4. <gasps> Ow, my face! I used that at Cemetery! Oh my god, I'm sorry! Hey, watch it. I may be a Nintendo... We'll say fan. Yes, World Snooker Championship. Is that a slur? Pop on a huck hat? I think they forgot a Y. And finally show off my synthetic raccoon urine. Of course, you may say, Jesus, Scott, really? Synthetic raccoon piss? And to that I say, don't worry. The Fox one is real. You can consistently change and add filters and change how the game looks with emulation. Uh, some people like the pixels all smoothed out. Some things like the pixels all smoothed out. We have a heart to heart with Mikey wearing a Toledo jacket. Well, this game hits home for me already. Toledo, Ohio, stay a while. There's a Burger King down the road. I, for one, am sort of critical of Nintendo's over-reliance on nostalgia sometimes, but I'm their target demographic for this because no matter what they do, if it's 8-bit, I don't think, I just clap. And that wasn't all. Nintendo also released a Kappa's Trail, Crash Course Domo, Hard Hat Domo, Pro Putt Domo, Rock and Roll Domo, White Water Domo, Face Pilot, Flame Tail, Link and Launch, Looks lineup, Metal Torrent, Number Battle, Picture Book Games, Pinball Pulse, Snap Dot, Spotto, Starship Patrol, Touch Solitaire, Trajectile, Escape. Who the f*** are these guys? Let's not be hasty with criticism though, like any of us spent a day in Spotto shoes. Toledo, Ohio, don't get killed here. Sony entered a deal with Squaresoft to make the Final Fantasy series exclusive to PlayStation systems for a while there. Uh, did this benefit the consumers? That oh, was a great way to measure crotches. I have a PlayStation 2. I can play Final Fantasy 10. Oh, good for you, keep it up. Motorcycle section, this time with combat. Hit the button. I'm a badass! I'm a badass! I'm a badass! Hey y'all, Scott here. I've been working on my impression of Nintendo DSiWare. Watch! Why the f was I born? Buying the Nintendo DSi was my first instance of being an idiot. Oh, who made it that far? I will give it to him. It's designed pretty similarly to the original, but this one is so much more flimsy. Like, if I crack it over my knee... Like, what the f***? So we get our info out of this guy on where Anvil is before brutally making his neck gush blood. It happens, ever drink a glass of nails? What, what was that? Something! Oh, we got a link here. I f***ing hate circles! All right, listen, I'm your moral support rep, so this means a lot coming from me. We're f***ed. Listen, if we die, please tell me. Was it hey y'all or hey all? Hey guys, I made us Baconators. That's a f***ing whopper! Ugh! Please f up more. Oh, who shot us? My money's on the working class. Uh, 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 uh. No. It can't be. My mortal enemy! Cover athlete of Man in 09! Brett Farf! Oh, Scott. You'll pay for this. Farf! Why are you doing this? That's the, first of all, it's none of your business. For whatever reason, you despise Madden 09, so it looks like I'll have to deal with you myself. You can't kill us, it's illegal! Hey, anything's fair game in space, and this round was planning to jaywalk. Let's get the hell out of here! We can't escape him! He just called Cuffter Sport, he's pissed! Oh god. He's docking! 
His troops are boarding the ship. Holy sh! It's the Green Bay Packers. Thus, both FIFA and Mighty are going for less than $10 brand new these days. Though Angry Bird Star Wars, we got a seven cent discount. So out of these three, you're either getting fucked over, fucked over, or fucked over. What the hell are you looking? Don't fuck with the Sons of Anarchy fan. So they cobbled together a party game, which frankly has no right being on a portable. This is just miserable. This was just a way to get another game called Disney Infinity on the 3DS in a short period of time. Outside of that, this game has no business existing. Well, what more could you possibly ask for? A duck? That one hit the spot. Here. One year later in 2014, Disney Infinity 2.0 released. F you! We're in the hideout, it's completely silent until I open this garage door. Oh, here it is, our first mass murder! Wario's in this? I'll take Peach, we're both roughly four inches from Wario. Yeah, well, I'll take Luigi. We are going to a funeral after all. Hey, uh, what's, what's going on in the corner over there? A fictional ape? Eh. Them. All right, how many turns do we want to do? 20, 35, 50? Can we do 47? I've got work tomorrow. I can do 48, I got time, not that much. We'll do 20, we'll have time to think about what we just witnessed. You really think you can shoot a ghost? Ow! You fool, that was just a ghost wound. We get some background in the form of a credit scroll with a static image in the background, but it does quite a lot to make me realize these are real beings. Like, think about this, these people have social security numbers. I like these ports because they give me a glimpse as to what could have almost been. Game Boy games downloadable on the DSi? <laughs> Hell, throw Game Gear, Neo Geo, Pocket, Atari Lynx games in there. And don't tell me the DSi couldn't run them. We're talking Game Boy games, not... I don't know, prehistoric man or anything. Oh, you son of a bitch! I would've loved to see more classic content on the shop rather than cut down versions of pre-existing DS software. It's just, what would you rather want? Fantasy Star Zero Mini, a stripped version of an RPG? I don't even know how you do that. Or Dirty Larry. Gosh, that's tough. Many players have become well-versed in these methods to get more money, so it's up to these companies to figure out ways to mask their money-hungry tactics. Nah, I'm not trying to kill you. I'm just making eggs. Actually, can you do me a different kind of favor? Jerry, I'm Jesus Christ, not a charity. Come on, just tell me who you got for Secret Santa. Ooh, I would, but the 11th commandment just went into effect. It's a cheap blow to competition when these companies could be spending time actually developing amazing exclusive games, but no, let's pay Ubisoft to spit in our game. Well, that's at least 60 minutes of fun right there. Prager Returns, all right, all right, all right. I've come across this game numerous times on the Wii Shop channel and the PlayStation 3, and then they made a DSi version? Why is it Frogger Returns? When did he leave? This motherfucker couldn't be born in a manger even if he tried. But I shouldn't say that, because my mother was never fucked. Me and this bully never got along, but I sure tried. I told him I was Jesus. What the f just happened? Hey, I agree. The Cheetos, but that's not going to help your marketability. With the right demographics, it might. Well, if I can't market my business here, I'm gonna market you. I'm gonna make you the killer app of this funeral. Go up to those people, tell them something. It doesn't even have to be true, just make them like you. Yeah, he was a great man. I can't believe he died. Yeah, I got some big projects to work myself. Oh, do tell. Yeah, I've been getting drunk as shit, watching nothing but Porky Pig cartoons lately. And I gotta say, I get the hype. Did he say y'all or all? It resurrects something else and it might help us! I, I can't go again five minutes after a mission. Go to his call practice tonight. Dinner's in 30 minutes. Learn his ways and then we'll have two people who don't know what the f they're doing. I mean, this kind of stuff always happens at night. We wouldn't be at this mess if it wasn't for that damn moon! So it turns out, uh, we can't outlaw the moon. Like, did Nintendo actually make anything for this? Well, that's where Mario vs. Donkey Kong Minis March again walks in.
get out. Let's just download it and oh my god! This is the image most see before death. Some may toss the term missed opportunity around. I prefer the term Pokemon Rumble U. This is Nintendo we're talking about, okay? If they have the opportunity to monetize Pokemon to take advantage of children, well, first they shoot you in the face, and then they do that. I remember a specific game I bought at Dollar General when I was a kid. Nicktoons Winner's Cup Racing for the PC. Scott, you're so f***ing cool. Tell us more. So we meet up with Dr. Blotter. He talks, I didn't listen. Wow, he is a real doctor. It's the exact same as Mario Clock, but with an Animal Crossing skin, and the same can be said about Animal Crossing Calculator, but these both aren't nearly as compelling as the Mario variants. And that's saying something, they're f***ing clocks. Oh man, Jake's getting mad. There's one thing I hate more than the Green Bay Packers. It's sex. Honestly, deep down, I've always felt like I've been a Wendy's employee. Well, I've always been a vegan. I haven't. Is that a gun? No. It's Gex. There's another sex scene, and it's the exact same as the first one! Sonic Adventure. Alright, kill that guy, and... Wait, this isn't real?! Dollar stores give you the illusion of a deal when half the time the prices are more expensive there than other places. You just don't notice because you're distracted by the fact you're in a dollar store. Holy f***, look at the price in that milk. But one thing I always remember seeing at Dollar General was the At Games consoles for only $40. This is the Dollar General exclusive edition with baseball included. I know, right? And because they're in blind bags, you're gonna be stuck with extras, which is just irritating. This game is already ass expensive. I expensive as ass! You're already clogging everybody's living room with these figures, so now you're gonna do blind bags of objects that have no reason to be sold separately? My daughter choked to death on power discs, and to make it worse, they were doubles! Right when Meat Hook was about to tell Jake why they're out to kill his family, Greasy Steve stabs him and runs away. Greasy Steve, what's next? Dr. Bowel? So allow me to offer you Skylanders figures to purchase separately for only $7.99 per character. And to have access to all that Skylanders has to offer, you can have it all for the price of $225. Okay, well, maybe there's something to this game. Maybe each character unlocks loads of content if this is worth $225. Skylanders is a game where you move forward and beat up enemies. I'll let you sharpen my pencils for 50 bucks less. Save stage. You can save and resume wherever you want in the game. You don't have to wait for a moment in the title itself. It's a system-wide feature. To save in the emulator holds your place and you can pick up exactly where you left off. And some consider this cheating. I consider it an open relationship. I think the rush alone was more than worth the asking price. That's why people love Adderall! Bundling Kung Fu Panda and Lego Indiana Jones together with an Xbox 360. I feel like Microsoft had to dig hard to find a game without blood and gore to market the Xbox 360 to kids, and when they found it, there better not be a damn gun inside that panda. Everybody had one because there wasn't much bad press around it. Outside of Scrabble using the word fucker. Damn, our guerrilla marketing tactics aren't working! The price was affordable to many, so why did the PlayStation 1 outsell it? I think that fact alone makes Nintendo hate the alphabet. I think this was a standout release. You would definitely get your money's worth out of this game. Until two years later when Nintendo re-released it on Wii's virtual console for $5. The miners don't like me, so I have to beat them up. Then I run into the mines with my hard hat on. Damn, it's good to be a biker. So I get through that and get to this miner. An of age miner! This series is to Call of Duty what asphalt is to Need for Speed. Who the hell likes this series? Put your damn hands down! Bathtub could be more comfortable. Could use some hay. As a kid, the true success of some products normally doesn't dawn upon you. NASDAQ was only my 47th word. I have various hardcore gaming products for the aspiring gamer. 
Who the hell wants to be a gamer? D just do it. That's like saying, oh, I want to be unemployed. Avoid contact with eyes. What's your stance on lips? The Super Nintendo Entertainment System sold just over 49 million units. What a little bitch. But as nice as I'm willing to be about this game, let's be fair. This game, as its standalone Game Boy Advance release, f that. <laughs> The PSP, they used a spinning disk drive, which, good luck playing that on a horse. Bro, I've been getting so goddamn religious lately. Oh, what religion? The real one. Target. I've been getting really invested in the culture of my religion lately, but I, I, the word culture kind of rhymes with vulture, so I don't really like it. I've just been calling it a cult. The Xbox 360 is well known as the winner of the battle between it and the PlayStation 3. Who did it pay off? F it. Tired of you Madden 08 fans. I'm more of a Madden 9 guy, I swear! Far, all we're doing is looking for the blue border. Just let us go and everybody will be fine. And you think I have nothing to do with that. But you know what? I'm coming over to deal with you myself. What was that? Who saved us? Yes. Hey, Scott, no problem. Good luck out there. Thanks. I'd like to not file a complaint. Utilizing motion controls to swing tennis rackets, it made tennis possible for many of us. Yeah, I'm 24, though. I always round up, so to be more precise, I'm two. Dollar Tree, they sold a Fortnite sticker album. No stickers included. Uh, what else did they sell me? Authentic casino played cards. Uh, pills. And... Donald Duck Lemonade. If it were the other way around and this came out before Zero Mission, then sure. But no, instead, they're forcing me to bitch about it 17 years later. The horse bastards. But then you have green new 3DS XL with Super Mario World included. Like, I won't complain, I'll just question. They included Super Mario Kart with the special edition Super Nintendo design, which does make some sense. And I know, you include Mario World with the green 3DS because Yoshi's blue and I'm colorblind. Well, that worked. I'm gonna need more stuff to talk about for the coming weeks, though. Yeah, it's no warning. This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore, but just the right amount of pun. Oh, you could always find video games at Rite Aid, and I found some local. So first up, we have Dance Sensation on Wii for 1999, Puss in Boots on Wii for 1999, Build a Bear Workshop Friendship Valley for 1999, Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings on Nintendo DS for 1999, and Bakugan Battle Brawlers on Wii for. $14.99. Good discount. Altogether with tax, this cost me roughly over $100 at Rite Aid, and I found all these video games brand new sealed on eBay for $46. I'll stick to FIFA. You think this 120p video is enough to turn me on? Well, lucky you, I have a slow metabolism. Let's f***ing do this! So to wrap up the explanation, how about an analogy? Emulation is like telling a teenager that grape juice is wine. They might get drunk, it just depends on how stupid they are. However, this is very similar to Nintendo's various other stances they took with new endeavors. Oh, we'll never charge money for downloadable content. I just shot a kid in the face. Plus, who the hell actually went to jail over downloading a ROM? At the end of the day, just do what you want. Gotcha. So after all that, sketch out a marketing plan. I'm a resident corpse R&D. And I have seniority. All right, so after hiring three employees and making no sales, our profit is... I need to hire an accountant. DSiWare titles range from free to costing 12 bucks or so, and you'd find what you want on the shop by tapping through pages, two games at a time. My wife is going into labor, but... Where's WarioWare? Even the subtitles are different. Man, I'm having a really double dragon two and four kind of day, which is to say... <laughs> oh, that's f***ing what? Yes, what better way to make up for stripping the compatibility of 1500 Game Boy Advance games than to give me the ability to play WarioWare Snapped? I can think of a couple. So, what if you had toys that you could scan into a video game and instantly be able to play as that toy? Great. 
Ready to die. I would wander around the front yard trying to mooch off of the neighbor's internet signal. Uh, convincing my parents to get Wi-Fi was like convincing them I needed a lung transplant. I should know because Wi-Fi won out. Most of the time, I'm sure developers would love to bring their games over, but it's not as easy as you think. It's not like the only reason they don't is because the development kits smell bad. Jesus. WarioWare micro games that focus on using the DSi's camera is an awesome time. I'm also f***ing dumb. There's still competition in the air and it's called exclusive content. If you play Avengers on PlayStation, you get Spider-Man. What is this called? Oh, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. The Face Pilot, which was pretty much a Pilot Wings game on DS that you control with your face. I made an accessory. Hey all, Scott here. What do you do when you want to play games but you're on a budget? Find a new hobby. Hey boss, can we have some Skylanders? Yes, f***ing please. What is your boss, 15? 14, you ass! Aren't there child labor laws? Legally speaking, it's better the child employs me than me employ the child. You're willing to make room for a damn carrying case in your bundles, but not room for an actual game case? Ooh, look at me, I'm Nintendo. I'm saving the environment by only using digital codes. This bundle also includes free ethanol. I'll buy silly string there, that was so fucking funny. Every holiday, they'd offer a couple variants, this one including Halo Reach and Fable 3, with Halo Reach being a download code. What, did they choose via Russian roulette? I mean, in my neck of the woods, we have Dollar General, Family Dollar, and Dollar Tree. Only one of these sticks to the everything's a dollar or less ideology. Son of a bitch! What was that? Words! No. I think the border just got bigger. That's impossible! Never require you to not be brain dead and your pulse stopped 30 seconds ago! Well, resuscitate me! I didn't hear a please. Oh my god, I want to get out of here! I just want to talk about stupid Nintendo games! All these threes? Guys? <laughs> Maybe a cold washcloth will revitalize you. Nope, it's not wet enough. It starts off the same for every week and ends with a game on PS3. Pick something right out of the drawer and hold it up against the floor. Spew some junk about no sex. Then a vegan comes just to say gex. At the desk look like a hoarder, surrounded by some big blue border. I just want to break the mold to not follow a path. But every week my life involves mentioning. My screen is all burned in. It's closing. My hands have that stupid grin. It's closing. And in. just like my virginity, I'm worried this 1080p outlines here for infinity. I'm on the board. Does my whole life need a giant watermark? I'm starting to really never notice something so stark. There are some deep questions and this is getting too philosophical for me. To lay it on the line, it's closing in on me. It's not like you're trying to clear inventory of all the unsold Ratchet and Clank all for one codes. Like, oh man, she can't hold that many letters. How about Horrorland? I do love some terror. Maybe Westerland. What is that? Nevada? Terror, terror, terror. Well, there's Bowserland. So Nevada. Some may even call me a terrorist. All right, well, let's bring it to a vote. Who doesn't want Pirate Land? Space Land it is. Really? Space land? You know, it's not my favorite board, but I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. But of course, the Nintendo versions of this game featured exclusive guest characters Turbocharged Donkey Kong and Hammer Slam Bowser.
This is fucking nasty. Yes, Nintendo characters in the Skylanders art style. You might be saying, wow, I thought I'd hear you puke after that. No, you see, that's just what puke sounds like now. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a collector. Here's my pride and joy. It's a cute way to contextualize the toys to life mechanic. I'll give him that. But at the end of the day, uh, Skylander Spire's adventure is a simple beat em up for children. Take that back, all the children say. See, this is what I like about Mari Party. It may be structured like a board game, but it's a board game that only really works as a video game. Okay, everybody's done rolling their dice. I'll give you 20 bucks to shoot that bird. You ever even turn on an Xbox? Oh, if it isn't the Demon King himself. What are we looking for exactly? Probably a square. Well, funny place is gonna give us answers. It's here. Oh, sweet printer ink. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this one, eh? Wait, wait, guys. Nobody would leave their printer ink out there just like that. It's a trap! Oh, no! You dare acknowledge my existence? Threaten to remove me from your life? It kept me busy. I'm done only affecting you and your precious state. I'm ready to irritate the entire world. So, how does this work? Well, first you spend $70, then wait for that return on investment. Well, here's all of our boards, and them being all front and center makes it easier to ask, what board do you want to play? Oh, rules land. No, rules I want rules land. I want rules land. I want rules land. I want rules land. My land. Skylanders was a critical and commercial success. It's still where carrots. You don't see dole bragging. Wow, if someone looks satisfied. Oh, it's Scott's back too. You guys, this is the best Christmas ever. But who even cares? There's no need to rank them, because as long as we're together, every year is the best Christmas ever. What the f right. Merry Christmas. A little birdie told me you'd like this. Wow, how did you know? I told you, birds! The rules land just a complete cock tease? Can I have a refill? They even light up when they're on the portal, which is a nice touch. The characters themselves? <laughs> This thing! No! How do you do it? How? Oh. Bunyip? You? you know, I gotta hand it to him. He died. It was bound to happen eventually. Yeah, well, regardless, I thought I should give you my review of the funeral before I post it. Well, shoot, I'm always up to improve things for next time. All right, well, firstly, this isn't even the first time he's died, so the hype's just not there. Well, how can I make it up for you? Discount for your next visit? No, I have a membership card. I'm fine. Next, this place is so unsanitary. There's a dead body right there. It just makes the concept work that much more. Now, the game itself? Do you give a sh No! I am eternal life! The opposite of eternal life... is virginity! It's weakening it. I've been holding this one in for years. I need one more dose. I've been saving this one. Mad and away in Espanol for PlayStation 2 and Xbox 360! I hate when this happens. For a series that was born from a gimmick that really carried the first game in reviews, to see Giants not do something just as magical feeling, it just doesn't satisfy me. You are a bitch to pleasure. Holy sh! Donkey Kong has over like 102 coins! At least he's under 104. What do you say this time? Nothing, he just licked my ear. This time, it was developed by Vicarious Visions just to get these games out on a yearly basis. Who better to trust with Skylanders than video game developers? He was a good man, and a better corpse. I've been to plenty of funerals where they've used stunt corpses before, but when his employee does his own, he truly is the definitive carcass. See, now you're more personable. You keep that up, you'll be in the casket in no time. I think Nintendo just did this to test the waters. If they truly wanted to go all in, they would have incorporated Toys to Life figures with an actual Pokemon game, not where dreams come to die. I should become a lawyer. Oh, oh God! 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 No! You that is you garbage! Garbage! No! Another refill, please!
Dixies. What kid is gonna wanna play with this? They get more enjoyment out of spray painting a Dixie cup yellow. Hey guys, it's Pikachu. Remember guys, we gotta make good impressions. Big smiles. Hey, didn't know you guys would make it. We had to make it, your brother didn't. It's just the characters from the original movies in that movie's playset. Oh my god, finally! Woody and Buzz at the same time? Somebody call Ripley's Believe It or Not and tell them I don't. I beat him! I beat the ape! Nah, you really stuck it to the man and the man is the bitch and the bitch is the ape. Well, maybe we can think of all the types of things Scott might have got, shake all the presents and figure out which one sounds like it's the most for him. No! What if somebody's gift us a rat? Oh, I won't be caught dead shaking a rat. So we agree this is a stupid idea, which leaves us with plan B. I have somewhat similar yet less critical feelings about the traps to the power discs from Infinity. Like, the Toys to Life concept can be sorta cool until you start having to buy things that just, like, what do you expect me to do with this outside of the game? The figures, you can display those, play with them, but, like, what do you expect me to do with this in the real world? Closed, it's roughly the same size as an old iPod Touch, so at least you have a reason to go all digital. Because the original PSP, man, putting that in your jeans, it would easily give you what I refer to as PSP leg. What's wrong with him? He's playing Daxter. No kid is going, Dad, I want to be that when I grow up. Oh my god, I can't afford the star? You know what? I gotta hand it to you. That's funny. Oh, and another battle minigame? That's a fucking shame. No. That's ape. Shame. Yep, one more Tours to Life series. You got the toys. Oh, I've got leprosy. Go for the sympathy vote. I miss him so much. He's gone, and I will never get to see him alive ever again. My back hurts! Uh, I forgot to write a speech, so I'm just going to repurpose what I wrote for his wedding. Congratulations, you son of a bitch. Your life is over. The other toys you could very easily just toss in your bag and bring them over to a friend's house. Lego Dimensions, after one stomp, it's toast. Me and my seven best friends were so close, even if we couldn't see eye to eye most of the time. The schoolyard bully had a friend group named the Disciples, so I named mine the Disciples. You may be saying, well, Scott, this is supposed to be a miniature version of the console's box because everybody remembers the Xbox One Xbox. Iconic moments in gaming. But that, I can tolerate. What I can't is the fact the game forces you to clumsily move the figures around on the portal to complete certain puzzles. Anybody that knows me will tell you, never tell Scott to move Legos around on a glowing portal. Now, I've been on a pretty good streak this year of not having any major injuries. But I still have a balance up to my hospital gift card, so it's just a little shovel to the head. Oh man, I can buy a skeleton key. Should I? Well, you are a fucking idiot. I'm gonna buy a snippet trap. You're a bitch! There. I, I wasted. Ah, there's still more that can be done. Hey, uh, hand me that disposable cup of water. This is glass. Yup, I did this sick trick where I walked over water because somebody dared me to, and then afterwards I kissed a frog. That frog turned into our beloved mascot, a wolf. A wolf in my grandmother's clothing. Yeah, come on, you're five foot ten of pure virginity. And hey, shut up, I'm five foot nine. Viagra? All of it! The entire county's wiped out. The supply chain's botched for the next quarter. Y you stop sex for me? Bowser's big blast. We gotta pick the right one. Hope it doesn't blow up. We gotta do this in real life. What, like Russian roulette? I'm really bad at Russian roulette. Yeah, to be fair, I've never won. I will not stand for big corporations taking advantage of the dead. Give the startups a chance for once. Try telling somebody you're the son of God while you're horny. It just do it, it doesn't work. So I ventured into this garden. Red ass apples. Red as ass everywhere. I was really hungry from going through Jesus puberty. But get this, the snake told me you can't have any. And I went, well, why not? And before he had a chance to respond, I took a bite. Abandon ship? What are the controls? <laughs> Son of a bitch! Nearly every form of entertainment can be enjoyed via the internet. There's no need for DVD collections or a CD binder in the car because that's just dangerous. I've been told I'm hard to shop for. How? My hobby couldn't be more blatant. I just don't know what to get him! Jeans. This is bullshit. All right, 70 coin ape is out here flapping his checkbook around while Wario is out here living paycheck to paycheck, probably living with some fatal disease. Like gonorrhea. What's the over-under on Warrior and gonorrhea? I'm just gonna say yes. You know what? I'll just say it. I'm happy for him. I mustn't dare tell my family I like video games. I don't want them to look at me like some kind of nerd. Hey y'all, Scott here. Dumb. This is garbage. I'm buying a plunder chest. You watch your back. Oh, 
I can't watch my back. I'm Wario. I'm huge. And he is getting so much attention. The corpse? Yeah, I'm supposed to be the life of the party. What does he have that I don't? No pulse? Kill me. You dirty coward. You smell so bad. At least I own a shower, you bastard. I'm kissing right in the mouth. You didn't smell like shit. I accidentally declined the star. You are a bitch, you know that? That's why physical video games will remain relevant for the foreseeable future. Like, come on, this is great. It gives you the opportunity to turn any of these pages into posters. Pop this on your wall, blast some metal, and tell mom to fuck off. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Donkey Kong was targeting me that whole game. He always knows where I am. I compiled a slideshow of photographs of Lenny's employee. I hope you all enjoy. I slipped that in. Not all of them can be winners though. The Wii U gamepad gift card tin. I might as well just give your son this. I can't take any more death getting shot in my face. I'm exhausted of death. Frankly, I'm dead tired. Okay, well I think we should head back to the party. But we don't want anybody to know what we're doing back here. We gotta come up with a good excuse. Well, what happened to you? Oh, he beat the shit out of me. I second that. Oh my God, Donkey Kong has won away. Excuse me, I am too, and you show no concern. Is it finally time to get this over with? Oh, cut the attitude. This guy's been waiting his whole life for his funeral, and all I've been doing is bitch about it. If it just stays here, it might get bigger if we don't do something about it. Maybe it needs a host. What are you saying here? I, I think it needs to live with somebody, or else it's just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger again. I'll do it. That goes against everything we've just done! Guys, I've had to deal with this thing longer than anybody else. I know how to handle it at this point. It's never gonna leave, but I know how it works. I know how to just talk about stupid Nintendo games and not let it bother me. I would not wish this upon anybody else. I just hope people understand what I see all the time. Deal. Nice setup. Is he really dead? I'd be insulted if he wasn't. I was watching gameplay of New Super Mario Bros. Wii online, and when my dad came in, I immediately hid the window and looked up porn. Jeb, death isn't for everybody, but you don't have to suck the fun out of it for others. I guess after my uncle died the fourth time, I started to resent death a little bit. Yeah, but that third time was pretty great, right? <laughs> Here, take a gun. Watch out behind you, there's a happy couple playing Wario's Woods! Scott, I understand that criticism can lead to better products at the end of the day, but you're bringing down the funeral with all this negativity. It's okay to let people like things from time to time and do what they want to do. Even Xenoblade? No. Terry, the image of death has been tainted. You're only here for the business opportunity. Tostito? Death is special. You know what happens when things get mass produced. How do you not know your dead shoe size? Well, these books are here to help. Bingo. I gotta hand it to you, his funeral really perked up. Turns out all people need is an attitude adjustment. This is fucking awesome! I buy gifts with my heart, not my fingers. You can't tell me those hands were buying gifts earlier. I mean, look at them! I've been unemployed all day, cut me some slack. I was like, all right, I'm ready, let's bring it on. Then these people started beating the shit out of me, all right? They're kicking my ass! They even stole my shoe! Then they said, walk up this mountain with the cross! And I went, no, I'm not doing that shit. that's fucking weird! Looking back at old family photos, enhance! That's fucking Simpsons road rage. Bill and Ted, time traveling righteous dudes on a wacky adverb. Ah, grooming kits for kids. It's not what you think. Yeah, they were doing play shaving kits with Batman and Ninja Turtles licensing, which makes things better. This came from Batman. <laughs> Look, we did it. Everything's back to normal. Yeah, this blue board is not gonna leave anytime soon for me, but as long as I know how to handle it and not let it affect what I love, that's okay. Plus, who knows, it might shrink over time. I think it even did that a while back. I think that deserves a letter of recommendation. Pop that on your resume. You're the only patient of mine that has saved the world from shapes. If it wasn't for this whole thing, I would have never considered myself to be a fast food employee. None of us did. At least I can go back to having no means of crotch access. That's good, I hear Jesus hates hand jobs. Terry, I'm, I'm sorry, I just, I don't think I could be a vegan anymore. I like Gex. Well, you can't change who you are, but we could always use a volunteer vegan on the weekends. Oh boy, now people know what I'm not. You guys, thanks for helping me out. It means a lot. I think everyone will understand this whole blue border thing you're dealing with. Well, even if they don't, as long as I have what I truly care about, I don't give a piss. We saved the world from a blue border world. I just have to live with it for the whole rest of my days It's a lot, but you've been taught this thing is worse than you thought But there's one small thing that makes it all okay